You are got it. Yes, sir. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Blessed, bro. Come on, man. Good to hear. Yes, good sir. to hear. Good to know. Yes, sir. Let's talk to him, man. You living or you surviving? Oh, I'm living. Come on, man. Good to hear. I'm living. That's I'm thank up. God. Explain. Yes, sir. Man, I had no complaints. The I guess the problems in my life is everything I asked for. Gotcha. It's nothing that's too big that God can't handle. And that's it's, right, bro. It's nothing that I can't sleep at night. So, you know, I I kind of thought that it probably look a little bit more like the glitz and the glam to, gotcha. to feel that way, but that's not what it is. Real, bro. Everything I need, bro. Like, I, I can't complain. Bro. Come on, man. I love it. No I love complaints. It, I love it. That's all. Welcome to the Integrity Response with your brother, CEO Khaki. Every individual sitting across from me doesn't believe in being typical, ordinary, or familiar. They're elite. Many society's norms don't sit well with them. They believe in raising the bar for themselves, family, and for those they may never meet. From those in humble beginnings to those in the midst of greatness and legends who've paved the way with a comedic edge, I will ask the questions that hold value and I believe we'll gain insight to the real them. It's the integrity response. Man, let's take let's them back. It. Before rap, before yes, entrepreneurship, yes, sir. before fashion, mm -hmm. at the age of nine, what did you want to be? Um... I wanted to be an NBA player. Come on now. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. yeah it was dreams. crazy. Come Everybody on. had the hoop dreams, right. of course. Right. <laughs> sure. Um it, it was something that I felt like because my dad was so hard on me about it. Gotcha. Um, you know, I was already in the newspaper for AU. Um, I had to play on the older team because I was just too good for wow. the age that I was at. Wow. Um, and then I think I think my mom kind of gave me I want to say a realistic outlet, but also it was more of a pessimistic thought of what would be the chances of you making it to the NBA. Gotcha. And because at that time where I believed everything mom and dad Real. said, um, quickly gave up that dream. Wow. And the next thing I wanted to do was be a medical doctor slash surgeon. Gotcha. Yeah. Was there anybody in the family that you saw that as far as a surgeon as well? Um, I, I saw uh, Ben Carson. Gotcha. I Real. found out who Ben Carson was, read the book. Wow. Um, and I just, I was, I was just inspired. Real, bro. I was Real. just inspired. Yep. Real. That's what's up, bro. That's yep. dope. That's dope. Let's take it back, man. The West Side. Yes, sir. West Lake. Simpson. Yep. Cascade. All that. East Side. Yes, sir. Decatur. Yep. What does all that mean to you? Man, it's it's all a part of me. That's real. It's all a part of me. Uh, real. The different things I've seen, uh, it was crazy because Dolph said, uh, what was that song where he said, um, nine years old, I've seen a get shot. Real. It, that was a real, that wow. was real for me. I was with my dad and my younger brother wow. and um, on Bankhead. Wow. Uh, right across the bridge from the flame right there at the BP. Gotcha. Um, so many memories, bro. Like, so many memories, both good and bad and stuff like that, but it made me who I am today. Real, so bro. I'm real. Grateful. Come on, man. That's yes, real, sir. bro. That's real. And you did, uh, the research I found out, you are the oldest of 10 siblings. Oldest of 10, yep. Bro, explain to, explain to your fans, your supporters, what that household was like growing Ooh. up. <laughs> I know it was never a dull moment, bro. It was never a dull moment. Um, it was both uh, good and bad. I think it definitely uh, molded me to be that person of wanting to be a caretaker and wanting Great. to provide and wanting to be a man. Um, we had a because it was so many of us. We had a 15 passenger uh, That's church right, van, bro. Come over. That's and it was right. crazy because I remember right. uh, one of my homeboys. Everybody was like, "Yo, who drive that church van?" That be parked on the side because I didn't want nobody to see it in the front of the school, so I parked it on the side. Right. But it, it ended up being the vehicle we used to skip class and go to the mall really? in, <laughs> and we used to um, what was that called? Where you if you work, you get to leave school it's like early. the work release, work, work release, release, bro. That's right. Yep. So. I, I lie every time we got caught going down the hill was it was the work release right. program, but it really <laughs> it was. Wasn't. Um, it was it it was never a dull moment. Um I do wish we could be a little closer. Gotcha. Um I'm glad that at that time I was ignorant to a lot of the issues that was going on within the household. Um thinking that, you know, for a long time I thought that because I had a two parent household, right. we was in the church. I thought that our life was better, and I knew it was people that was worse off than we were. I didn't never think that I was from the hood or from gotcha. the struggle, but I was. But really? being blissful in that moment um, during that time of my life, you know, it it made me appreciate a lot of things. 
got, especially now, uh, as, especially a, as a family now. man. But, well, as a family man now, because I got to redo everything that was wrong with my family. Real, man. Like, bro. yeah, we not we not close today um, as we should be. I really don't know my family like that. Like, I love them, but I don't really know them. Like, the church kind of got a hold on them, so it's kind of like they're unable to embrace the reality of things because all they know is church. Gotcha. Yeah. And you, I did see the research. Is, are they anyone? I'm a pastor, apostle. They're not. Pa- it's um, it's it's just kind of a culty church where they don't question anything. Which I had that mindset for a long time, and I was I just not even gullible bro. to a lot of things. I do, bro. Like myself, grew up in a church as well. Yeah, I understand exactly some of the things you're saying. Yeah. Also, you did also mention saying you know. I wasn't allowed to listen to hip hop music, None things like it. that, growing up. Yeah, same here, bro. Same here. I had, yeah. to, it had to be broken off and sneak and listen to my own and certain things Man. like that. But that, I do understand what you're saying. Yep. Now, hindsight, my dad still a pastor. Mm-hmm. You know, he did say, you know, the leadership, everything he was up under. You know, it not saying it changed our family dynamic, but it changed our family dynamic. Mm-hmm. And like you saying right now, we're not as close as we should be. Right. And it should be that way. Right. Right. And I mean, you know, I'm 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 not against religion because I believe that um however you find peace, however you find love, however you're able to accept and embrace people and allow them to see your light so that it makes them a better person. That's if right. it works for you, then it works. But I don't think that's uh I don't really think that's too much what religion is about because there's a lot of trauma. There's a lot of whether, you know, I don't knock it, whether it's Islam, whether you're Buddhist, whether you're uh, Baptist. I don't I don't right. care what the denomination is or what the belief or religion is. It, it, it's just kind of like make sure your intentions and pu- is pure for what you're doing. It. And a lot of us really take on that religion mentality because of the fact that we don't know how to unbox a lot of trauma that we went through or that gotcha. we're currently going through. And that's what I'm experiencing with my mom. Like, um, I know she went through things in her life that I think that she's unable to um, she's unable to accept at this age because I think once you learn to accept it, the next step that's hard to accept is how long you've been going through this in a time gotcha. loss. When it's like, you know, I understand you can't get it back, but I think my mom knows that it's not the right way of life, gotcha. but she she's so far into it's like I have to accept this because I've been in it like 30 plus years right so yes is everybody still here in Atlanta in Georgia yes everybody's still in Atlanta your parents are still together nah gotcha nah they're not together they're not together it's yeah it's it's it's, um my mom actually stays I want to say probably about 8 to 10 minutes from me gotcha don't call don't check in don't none of that but again it's like I don't fully blame her um, it's, it's just like the cult was more of like don't associate with outsiders so I took my sister to she just turned 15 I took her to get some food for her birthday and it was like that was the first time when she actually told me like she don't know me Wow. and it was like and it was crazy because while we were eating she's like looking around and she's just like she didn't know what cheese sticks were she was and it's that bad she's not in school oh she's um, homeschool you can call it homeschool it, my mom just kind of keep her sheltered from sheltered the world from the real world from the real world so she don't have friends she don't have it's like she's 15 but in her mind she's like eight or seven it's hard to have a relationship with the younger siblings yes. because of the because of the relationship with the mom. It starts with the mom. It starts with the mom. And my mom, she just, she pretty much keeps, if she if she can control it, she keeps my siblings from me because I kind of broke the, um, I, I pretty you're, much was the one that broke the spell of like. You're a radical. I'm, I'm a radical. And, and, and it's. And it makes sense. But I, I understand that. Bro. Yeah. 100%. Uh, you're the free spirit. Yeah, yeah. You're the one who questioned things like, wait a minute. Because we, you're right. And, and we it, were taught not to. So we didn't question a lot of things. I got I got into a lot of situations where um, thinking that being, uh, as long as my intentions were right, it's going to be reciprocated. And that's not how life worked. And that's how 
I fell victim to a lot of situations, whether it be business situations or relationships or uh, friendships. It's just I didn't accept the right people. I didn't I didn't know how to go about picking the right people because I didn't really question it. Gotcha. So I'm learning. Bro, you your story is like a lot of people's story. Yes. You're just being televised. Yeah. Real talk. Yes. Bro, what besides that, what type of kid were you? You know, like uh you know, in sports, you know, you say you lost the passion because of mm. not your bro, like you shooting high. Yes. Like, but sometime With others everything. can yeah, others can stomp <laughs> those immediately and lose the passion or lose the drive. Or, but you're saying you shot high. Basketball was your thing at that time you're yes. at least yes real and uh who's the next in line you're the oldest how my sister she's the next in line she's uh we had the same birthday a year apart gotcha yeah. gotcha okay gotcha so what are they called uh what, what kind of twins i they don't know what kind of certain, yeah it's I, like my I, kids I never my know. kids are 13 and a half months apart they call it a certain it, irish twins or something man, like that or yeah. something. i think yeah. that is what <laughs> yeah, it's called that's real, yeah that's real yeah. definitely gotcha. i thought it was coincidental uh excuse me coincidental gotcha. coincidental until someone explained to me how things like that occur and it made so much real, sense. Real, that's real. That's Something right. Something around bro. that time that's of real. year, gotcha. whether it's an anniversary, that's right. Whether bro. it's um, and you pretty much just do the math and go ten months and right. be like, that's oh, right. okay, that's cool. Right. My brother, that's how we get. My that. brother was born November fourteenth. Okay, so date back nine months. You know, we always say he's a he's a um, you know he's a uh, Valentine's baby. <laughs> you know what I'm there you go. So, yeah, there that's you go. That's real. Bro. Exactly. That's real for sure. Exactly. For sure. That's what's up. So you did. You grew up playing drums as well. Grew up playing drums now, in, in the church. Real. You know, a lot of us, we, we don't admit to growing up in the church because we think that takes away from your street bro, uh, I, credential and stuff. And it's kind of like, no, nah, bro. at the end of the day, our parents didn't want us to fall victim to the things they experienced. Bro. So you can't help. Now, if you decide to get older and make your own decisions, that's, that's right. on you. That's but what, don't discredit the help that was that was set in place to try to make you a absolutely, better person bro. at that time. That's like, right. I grew up in the church, but also, you know, being a church person, um, a lot of people think that, oh, church kids are not really bad kids, but they don't <laughs> That's understand. Why they're in church. <laughs> they're the, they don't understand. Those are the, the worst, worst ones, kids. man. That's because it's kind of like keep it bad three dollars. Man, you, I'm telling you, like real, you got to keep That's them there real, because bro. the church kids. The That's thing right. is, if I didn't grow up on the street with little Tay Tay, come on. As little Tay Tay was getting older, I don't know what little Tay Tay was doing. A lot of the other street kids scared of little Tay Tay. I ain't scared real, of little Tay Tay because I wasn't outside. Absolutely, but now I'm outside bro. and I'm not questioning right, nothing. Bro. I think GTA is real. Real. So, <laughs> So broad real, daylight, bro. it can go that's down, real. even if I did come that's from the church. And people don't understand that's it. Real, bro. Yeah. That's real. So got to watch out for them church kids. That's right. That's you real, got to. Bro. I'm a son of a preacher, man. So, but I know it, it. It it started a. It was this. It was this ground level that started you. Yes. Uh, so so you the ability to speak to anybody. Yes. Having that confidence. Yes. Uh, being a young man playing in front of the congregation. Yes. That's that's. Honing in on not being afraid. Yes. You know, losing yes. fear. Yes. Real structure, bro. And that's what it's about, bro. That's for true. real. That's real. That's Definitely, true. man. And then on top of that, you're you were very popular, I know for sure. Because kids well rounded like that, you mm -hmm. know, athlete, jock in the church, you know, curricula outside of school, things Everything, like that. It's yeah. just grooming you for who you are now. Yep. Real, yep. bro. That's real. Um, I would say high school probably, I wasn't as popular. Uh, I went I would say school actually. I was known, but I wasn't really as popular. Um, I was more of a standout person. I wore suits even when people wow. went for that. It, it was just kind of like, I hate to say it, but realistically, I never really, anything, whether it was like a relationship, uh, business, I never looked at things short term. And I think a lot of that came from church because even understanding, um, you know, our church was big on marriage. Even gotcha. if you're young, you know, no, that's right. No marriage before sex and stuff like that. So I kind of took everything with a long distance approach. Gotcha. If I was gonna play basketball, it's because I was gonna go pro. If I ain't going pro, I ain't doing it. Not doing it, really. And so um, with that, it kind of made like I looked at high school as all the popular kids to me were lame. I don't care what they said; they was lame because I. I kind of saw the crutch of living in that moment was where you was going to stay at because of the fact that 
you would never push and that, and that's how you get a lot of these people who like you know not to downplay them or nothing, but they be on ahead. Facebook and Go still ahead, talking bro. about throwbacks and it's kind of like you can't evolve into today because integrity that's where you, you are lie. stuck that's, that's where you, you lie at. that's, that's what, your highlight and I saw that and because I saw that I always looked past high school and was just kind of like it is what it is I wasn't Real. caring about being popular, popular. yeah I know wow. I had a bigger purpose. Real, bro. Yes, I am. Re- gotcha. I like that. I love that. A, a lot of people are even going to understand exactly what you meant by that. Yes. Because that is so true. Yes. And it's bro. not to downplay it's nobody, not, but no, it's just kind of like you saying, can't get stuck. Just bro, don't get stuck. Hold their head on high school. Yes. Hold their shoulders you know, on high you school say, and like stay in their prime right. days Absolutely. and still talking about, That's you right, know. Bro. Back, Man, in my I'm back in my back in my <laughs> day, and it's like, bro, this can still be your day. You just got to wow. You said it, it can, can still, still be your day. day. It can always be a day. <laughs> That's real, bro. That's yeah. real. Yeah. That's real. So for your supporters, for your fans, fill in a blank. Mm-hmm. In high school, I was known as a kid that was different. Real, yeah, real was different. Come Respect. to school with the suits and the briefcase. Respect. And it's like, where are you going today? What's what's today? Today is the day. Today is the day. That, that's all it is. It's the day is the day. That's it. So I don't want to look like you. I don't want to look like you. You know, look at me. Real. Yeah. So you was you was being groomed and you're grooming yourself, not even knowing what's definitely, to come. Definitely. Definitely. I knew that? I knew something was to come. I just never knew what. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow. High school. Mm-hmm. What was your first job? Uh, I want to say Wayfield. Wayfields, uh, Wayfields on Columbia gotcha. Drive. For sure, that's yep. what's up. How was that experience, you know, being the first, were you 14, 15, 16? No, nah, I was like, I was probably like 17 going out on 18, gotcha. something like that. Gotcha, so going um, into going into uh, 12th grade. No, nah, it was after 12th grade, gotcha. actually. Okay, oh, you graduated um, early. Um, well, no, I graduated at 17. Gotcha. And then transitioning, going into college, I knew I needed a job because it was like, that money had dried up. Gotcha. Dad Real, couldn't, bro, I know you know I what go. I mean? I so I it was go. just kind of like, I was becoming a man. So Real. Um, by that time, I had already started, um, you know, I already kind of jumped off the porch and was in the streets. But I also knew that the streets weren't going to be, couldn't be my only source of eating. Real, bro. Yeah. Real. And I, and just like just like you say, one foot, one foot out. Yep. You, you still, at this time, like you're juggling, like not sure, like every kid. Mm-hmm. You went to Morehouse as well. Yep. You studied law. Yep. Come on. Man. Well, Come I studied on. English because we didn't have a law program. Okay, but, gotcha. Um, I did want to become an intellectual property Come on, law. Bro. Come on. A uh, lawyer. Um, still trying to make my mom Come proud on, at bro. that time, but Real. it wasn't until I was in that dorm room, man. You know, it wasn't about the gangster lifestyle. It was just realistically looking at what uh, they made a year. I was just like, nah, this ain't it for me. I'm not feeling it. And I and I told my boy, I'm like, man, bro, I. I don't know what it is, bro. Like, I'm just not feeling it. I feel like this is the route that everybody taking, but I'm just not feeling it. He said, the thing is, bro, you have to do what you want to do and be successful at it. Once you're successful at it, people learn to accept what it is you're doing. And so from then, um, I messed up because I left college. Now, I was popular in college, but I was popular because being from Atlanta, Mm -hmm. I had the hood behind me, and it was in my area. I'm already... From so over by Ashby you, Mitchell. Real, you're so that guy. Already, no, I'm, Everybody's my green You got, here, you got a problem? Go holler at bro, cause bro real. got the whole hood behind him. Wow. Like he coming, he coming with the, you know, the weed. He got real. everything. Whatever gotcha. you need, go gotcha. holler at bro. You need a pistol? Holler at bro. He gonna come back with it and stuff. And I was always like a stand up guy. Like gotcha. I ain't, you know, even um, even my encounters with like the police and stuff. They was just everybody always just understood my personality. Was just kind of like, why you like this, bro? Like why you doing? But. It was life being sheltered, having that wall up. Now I got this little sense of freedom. Gotcha. I'm kind of dipping and diving into the street. Just you finding just, your way, bro. I'm finding you my finding way, your bro. Way. Like and every young it, man, bro. like yeah, you yeah. finding your way. You're I ain't want to be. Purpose and-, and that was it. I ain't want to be labeled like no. Oh, he the hood dude. He he a drug dealer. He. It wasn't never about that for me. Like yeah. even when I was a jack boy, like a lot of people don't know me for being a jack boy, gotcha. but that's the whole point of me being like it was just me and my brother. We not running with clicks. We ain't doing none of that. Like. And we, man, I'm talking about we, whatever we got to do to eat, we going we gonna to do what we got to do to eat. And it's not about being popular. It ain't about being known. It's just kind of like surviving Real. and knowing what we know. We we knew our pops came up like that. Gotcha. And from his stories, he was pretty good at it. And oh, he turned his life around. He turned his life around. Gotcha. But that wasn't how we looked at it. We just kind of looked at it like when times fell hard, 
that's what you had turned to. So we thought it was okay for us to do the same thing. Gotcha, bro. Yeah. Gotcha. And your brother, this is, you, you mentioned your sister being next in line. Yeah. And your, what he's is your brother four. four. Gotcha. So I'm he's guessing four. four to five years he, younger. He's my four to five, he's five years younger. Gotcha. That's, that's, uh, that's pretty much, that's my best friend. Real, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's Real. my best friend. Yeah. And he's in Georgia still. He He's in Atlanta. He's gotcha. in Atlanta. So yeah, I'm, I'm working on him. He, you know, things, things fall short, you know, like I'm, I do I'm understand. A, yeah, I do. I'm working like on you, you, You're driven by the motivation and everything you're bringing towards to your brother as well. Yes. Being that leader. Yeah, because he, he was the one that always, like, you know, um, my mom and dad kind of split, like, um, around that time when I started, when I left to go to college, I had to figure out everything on my own from financial aid, and I ain't had nobody doing nothing. Gotcha. Um, Nobody came to the inauguration or nothing. So it was just kind of like, it was just me being in the streets. And then my dad kind of went his way. I don't know what was going on, but he left the house. Mm -hmm. My mom, she went and stayed in the shelter for a few years with all my other siblings. So it was just my brother. And um, I, that's when I, school got kind of hard because I started going back to take care of him, but we both was in the streets and gotcha. then, one thing led to another and the hole just got deeper and darker I do. and we just I understand, but we stayed like this so once i got um once i got locked up it was like he never he never like took his arm like off for helping me and he always was like pointing at me as i was the one that was helping him but i couldn't even see the light for myself because i was still trying to find myself but gotcha. that was the motivation that made me be like man i i must have something if I look up to this dude and he telling me what he seeing me, we was feeding off each other. Gotcha. Because we was all we had. And you you said you did you mentioned uh being locked up two years. Yeah. You in mentioned the in a previous interview it was the best thing and the worst thing that yes. ever happened to you. Yes. It was like almost like you had to you had to get away. Yes. To make a way. I had to. And I had to. And it it was we oftentimes like crowd the guy for wanting to change, but we we had this perception of how he should help us to change. Like it should be this smooth transition. Wow. And it's almost like saying, God, take me off drugs. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put you in this rehab situation. You don't wanna go to rehab. You don't wanna go through withdrawal. You have to go through certain things that God have in place for you to get where you wanna go. Wow. And so for me, um, I'm blessed and I'm fortunate to understand that the two years that I spent in jail was just a slap on the wrist for everything that I, I didn't see, but that also taught me what karma was, because I really didn't understand karma. I'm, I'm thinking I'm on a five-year spree of doing every and everything gotcha. under the sun. Like, you know, I'm we getting it. We doing we what we doing, gotcha. and I'm not seeing what I was becoming until he sat me down, literally, and it was just like I had to come to face to face with all that and. Um, I remember the one time my, my dad came to see me and I, I needed some information on what my attorney uh, said about my situation because I didn't know anything going on. You just in there, just I'm in just limbo. In there, just in there. But only thing I know is you're facing two life sentences. Wow. The best possible outcome is you may get a life. And I'm wow. just kind of like, I'm, you know, I don't know what to think. And my dad said, let me tell you how wow. God worked. God's going to turn that judge against you. Your attorney ain't going to be able to do nothing for you. The jury's not going to be on your side. The DA is going to be the worst of the worst. But God has to turn everything against you for you to realize it's only him that can get you through. Wow. And that's it. Wow. And once I encountered that, you know, even, even today, like people, even with the music industry, a lot of people think I didn't make the right decision on speaking out, but they don't understand, like, to say I walk with God, I fear no man. I, I say what I say, I, and it's like, however it's perceived, however it's taken, that's absolutely fine. But I know when I step to God, I, when I step with God, that's right. Like, if you really gonna step with God, you can't be scared of the persecution. You can't be scared of being misunderstood. You just gotta show, like, I know what God did for me. Real. I know how I'm gonna bounce back every time. Like, I might not know how, but I know I'm going to do it because I have to show the world that if I'm going to step for Him. If I'm gonna represent him, it's gonna manifest. It's Real. gonna do it. Real. You Boy, feel like he, he was put on this earth for a purpose. I know I was. Everybody was. Everybody was. I think we actually don't. You actually, 
don't see success until you walk into your purpose. You can accumulate wow. so much in life, like houses, cars, jewelry. At the time that I was getting probably the most money I ever seen off of my hard work, I was never happy. I was never satisfied. And it was like, I was getting away from my purpose. I told, wow. I made a commitment to God that once you let me out these doors, I'm a, um, I'm a forever serve you. Real, bro. And I think like sometimes people want that spotlight, but what they don't understand with that spotlight is when you on stage and that spotlight on you, Go ahead. you can't see nothing. You can't see nothing. You got to be, you got to know where you got to step. You got to wow. know how you got to walk. You got to know that whatever's going on, this spotlight is on me and I have to be able to still put on a show and still be able to look people in their eyes and it's hard to do that so it was kind of like being blinded by the star by 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 the light i just kind of like i fell victim to whatever people are in this profession are doing is probably what i'm supposed to be doing too gotcha. to be successful and that wasn't it but i was also being fed that information and instead of listening to that's right. where, where it was coming from, for the person I'm asking for help, I turned to man. Every time I ever turned to man, I fail. Gotcha. Every time. Your parents, you know they're praying parents. You know you're covered. I know I'm covered. Just through the parents you don't even recognize that yes. have yes. gone through. I do know that. Yep. Yep. I do know I'm covered. Um, I also know it's like a lot of kind of what you, what you asked for because... People can pray for you to be covered, but if your intentions ain't right and Go if ahead. you ain't serving your purpose, it don't necessarily mean you right. will be covered. Gotcha. Um, I I would like to say that. I would like to say now I, I do know my dad proud of me. I think that I'm not really the outcome of what my mom and dad have become. But with what was instilled in me and for whatever intentions they had for me at that time, it helped me become the person of all I have is pure intentions with any and everybody. Like myself, you've been told growing up, you're supposed to be a preacher. Yeah, yeah, crazy. I have. I'm a, I've, I've always been told that. And um, much like Jonah, I always try to run from Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my brother. My brother. I always, um, I always tried to get away from it because it was like, even as a kid, I saw myself as, I saw myself as the person I am today. It's crazy. Like I bro. always saw tattoos. I always saw jewelry. I always saw like the lifestyle. But I was like, how can I talk to people and minister to people and be a preacher if it, but I had to realize it wasn't about being in a pulpit, it wasn't about being in a church. Integrity. And so even in this very moment, I'm doing my calling. Bro, it's, you're saying so. It's uh, That's how it is. Calling. Yes. You don't know what path or why. Why are you going down there, but it's. But you, you know just, you're chosen. I know you I'm know chosen. You know you're covered. I know That's my path. Right, I know my purpose. I got that. I, anytime I ever fall or fall by the wayside, it's because I've steered away from my purpose. But when I come back, God is grateful enough to like. That's right, bro. Give it back. That's right, right. Told you, I got to put you through that, bro. Yes, it's real, like yeah, bro. That's. But you know, I know as well as you know, mm -hmm. uh, bro. Like you, you know, through song, mm -hmm. everything you learn in the church, you know, the tempo, the melody. Yes. We we haven't even touched music yet yes you know what i'm saying yes bro everything you are you know and i'm gonna go i'm gonna go right here to this mm -hmm. you know i asked boom man i had boom man on the show mm -hmm. two weeks ago i asked him you know about you got it like you said he produced mm -hmm. he had a message mm -hmm. you know he had you know integrity mm -hmm. in his music mm -hmm. he was a star mm -hmm. i said D didn't you hate that Business got in the way of this man being a star. That part, bro, like, because what you have, the trifecta, mm. everybody don't have. Mm -hmm. And that's a Thank gift. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that's it. That's a gift, bro. Like, and that's the part where it's like, you know, the low-hanger fruit got it. You can 
murder, murder, kill, kill, shoot, shoot, destroy, 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 yeah. all you want. Yeah. Anybody can do that. Yeah. But you, you're you trying because you know you're manifesting. Yeah. Your words are powerful. I have to. Yeah, bro, you have to. Yes. That's that part where it's like, um, you know, I often say loosely and lightly, but respectfully, everybody ain't being interviewed. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand so that. Your word is going out, you know what I'm saying? Like, in a different manner. It has to. Bro, that's real. So, so this path that God takes us on, bro, like it's 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 one of those ones, like, you know, all right, I'm gonna it let has, go to work. Yeah, bro. To, it has to happen. Um, even with that situation, it's like, I'm grateful for the outcome. I think because I know the reality of a lot of people, a lot of people wanna watch you fail because they themselves haven't reached the heights of it. It's usually only the people that reach those heights that are, can really say that they proud because we tend to, as a people, Go ahead. we don't understand genetically how we're made up through with, with uh, within our emotions. Hate is naturally instilled in the black man. And I hate to say that from wow. a lot of us that come from, if you didn't come from a gener generations of generations of happiness in a two-parent household somewhere along, along the line that great grandma who was left by herself or she couldn't stand her lifestyle she instilled something in her daughter which was your grandma who instilled something in your mom who instilled something in you so we tend to say it ain't a it ain't a, a hate bone in my butt you can't say that if you wow. didn't come from that you only make sense of why it seems like it's not hate but even myself coming knowing I might have made a change going through therapy, but I know genetically something in me come up and be, I don't like him. Gotcha. For what? And I have to check myself and take accountability and say, you don't know him, bro. Let a man you examine know. himself. You That's got real, to examine, and I have to examine real. myself because it's not that I want it to be in me. Even if I'm happy, everything like going, it's still sometimes, it was genetically instilled in me, but I have to take that accountability and say, you know what? As long as I keep taking this accountability and making sure I check it, I'm helping to not pass it on wow. to the next generation. Real. And so um, a lot of people, I think that I did want to reach certain heights and levels musically because, because I felt as though, like like you said, I, I knew I had that trifecta. I knew right. I made beats. I knew prior to even being discovered who I was when I was going to like open mics and people knew of me and stuff. And that's what made me be like, yo, I got to transition out this field because everywhere I go, people are knowing, wow. they know my music. So I'm like, now it's time to go to that next level. Once I got to that next level, I felt as though I had something to prove because I felt the vibes. I, I All the people that was like, oh, he coming up, he coming up. Them handshakes turned into leaving your hand open to let my hand fall and I was hurt. I was hurt because that wasn't the individual I, I was. Um, it was like, I didn't want to be the person that God called me to be in a sense of, I had to be that example for change. Gotcha. I had to be the one to speak out because it was, I'm not the only one that went through this. I'm not the only person who went through the things that I went through. And, you know, in the industry, we're, we're taught to be quiet. Take it on the chin, man. That you, you girls cry. Duh, 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 duh. You just you keep it moving. But Talk it's about, like right. that's not the reality of things because the way the industry really works is it's almost like telling people, I found this girl in the hood, and I took her and put her in a Prada dress and took her out to Miami and changed her life. But did you really? Because you took her out there for prostitution for high-end clients. She getting drugs. She getting raped. She going through so much that people don't see on camera. And yeah, you might have dolled her up. But what was really going on with her that you really made her better and you didn't? Wow. Just because she was exposed to better don't mean you put her in a better place. And then the next thing that she knows is be quiet for the next pimp. Because if I speak out, nobody can help me. So we chase... We expect to leverage our talent and never learn the business, not knowing that people don't know you personally to take care of you. Gotcha. And that's where I fell victim to. I leveraged my talent instead of learning the business myself. But and, you, young man. Yes. You, you know, it don't it don't matter. And I hate to say it, people try to morally make sense of it, 
Even people will tell you, like, you should have read your contract. Bro, 95% of people can't read contracts. And even if you get an attorney, they don't understand, like, people can overpay your attorney or it, wow. business is just be business. And it's like, it's never personal. It's always business, but business is not conducted right, even in a, even in a sense of when people try to explain, like, you should have read this, you should have seen this. That's like telling a blind man, you should have been able to see this. Gotcha. I can't see. And you knew I couldn't see. And you took advantage of what I couldn't see. About 30 seconds of your time. I really appreciate your support. With every interview, my aim is to bring integrity and fun back to the culture. And I can't do it without you. If you're enjoying this episode, please hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and hit the like button. It helps the algorithm. I appreciate you. Back to the interview. Jay-Z said roughly 25 years ago, mm -hmm. industry shady, it needs to be taken over. Yes. You know from your lens, mm -hmm. this is on an indie label, unsigned major mm. you feel that as a whole too the oh, industry is shady oh i know i know it is i know it is is um from the top dogs down to the bottom no artist is getting treated the way they're supposed to wow just despite the glitz and glam nobody is getting treated it's 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 modern day slavery all like the reality of it is the overseers, the, the the black people who think they better because they on the horse overseeing the slaves. Wow. They learn the mentality of what the slave master did, and then they trying to implement the same thing, but the game's kind of changing, so it's getting worse. And, you know, the field is becoming bigger. It's no longer just a cotton field, where back in the day it was, um, you had BET, MTV, radio. It was only certain amount of sources for you to be seen to be a star. Right. That outlet has grown now, and because it's grown, the music industry can't sustain because it's no longer about the music industry at all. It's, it's social media has took over. Yeah. You got TikTok, you got Instagram, you got Facebook, you got YouTube, you got so many different sources of outlets to where I've been fortunate enough to fall into one that's working. We just, uh, I want to say about a week ago, we hit like a million subscribers on our YouTube come on, channel. Come so, on, that's what's up, bro. Um, Definitely. Got one of our stars with us, my boy Aiden. Come Aiden's on, 12 Aiden. and he's like, Aiden. <laughs> That's what's up, man. You're good. That's what's no, up. You're good. You're good. <laughs> That's awesome. You're good. So it, it, it's like it, it's a blessing to see that, but you know it's sad to watch so many artists fall victim to where they become what our our parents have become. Like the hate of I should have been something, and because I couldn't be something, I don't like the fact that now that the out the there's more light being shed on going viral and stuff like that. And parents feel like, man, I missed that opportunity in space. And now a lot of musicians and artists feel that same way. It's like, bro, you're 30, 40, like 20. And I'm not saying that you can't trace your, chase your dream, but just like we had a conversation prior to, you have to always learn the business of everything. Right. When you learn that business, bro, you, it, it's, you know, I didn't come into the music game just being like, I can be a rapper and that's it. I came in as a producer, that's a right. writer, that's right. a artist. Uh, I know how to engineer, that's right. learn how you know, learn how to mix, master and stuff like that. You have to be, you have to learn the game. You have to really? learn the business and know the business of how things operate in order to be successful yourself because leveraging your talent is just being used. Gotcha. If I'm a hard worker, that's all you're gonna use me for is being a hard worker. I'm never gonna get the pay that I deserve. Gotcha. A construction worker is the one who builds, the builds the, but he's the uh, most underpaid. That's right. That's right. That's and that's true. just kind of how like where musicians fall at the food chain. Like we we see an artist and think, oh, he make a hundred thousand dollars a show. He's not getting a hundred thousand dollars a show. He signed to a label that signed to a label, and then that label has to collect, and then that, they have to pay that label, and then the management has to get paid, and then right, you, bro. it's bro, and then you not, get the leftover residual. And then by that time, you know, people don't understand too how it's like it's a whole using game. Like it's not gotcha. the mentality of us. Like if you came from the hood and didn't come from money, you don't know how to budget. You don't understand overhead. You don't understand that if I have sixty thousand dollars, I gotta see what my overhead is first before so I, I have can. I know what's left over for me to spend or gotcha. enjoy. Gotcha. And because of that, you're being your fun, funds, even in your hand, are being controlled. And I went through that. Gotcha. It's kind of like I'm gonna as long as I keep you having this spending habit, you're gonna have to keep, keep coming back to the back source. Back through to the source. And then you're forever in debt. Gotcha. Bro, do you think um 
you know, also because this is a boisterous uh -huh. sport, flamboyant sport. Yes. We have to, you know, it's the glitz and glam. We have to look the part. It's not you know, that like, no more. It's, That's not it no more. And a lot of artists still caught up. We still caught up. The problem is we always try to make no make right of what we know instead of actually paying paying attention to the political science wow. of how things work. That those days of like just throwing on a chain and get, everybody can get a Lambo, everybody can have pretty girls, everybody can go get some jewelry, right. everybody can rent or whatever it is. Now the the industry is now doing where they're taking that organic approach where it's making it seem like people are are independent. So instead of me going to get you some jewelry and then throwing you in the camera, I'm gonna let you stay raggedy for about six, seven months because that's what people, people are tuning in to watch you fail. What? They're not tuning in to watch you <laughs> succeed. Wow. So when they are watching you fail, that's how they eventually turn into fans. Them same people who sit and say, I've been here since the beginning. They went there rooting. I'm in a bad place. I see you trying to do something. I don't think you can do it, but I'm going to watch you. Now as you're starting to elevate, my mind kind of starting to change. I'm starting to group, kind of like it. Group think. Group think. The definition I, of group think. There the you more go. people that, okay, I, I rock with it now. All you're right. seeing more people, and now you're wow. jumping on that bandwagon, but they understand the negativity in a black community is what attracting the light. I don't want to see somebody. If I if I'm in the hood, I really ain't trying to see nobody unless I'm trying to rob them. I ain't trying to see you doing that good. Like, I, I want to see. I know it's a flaw in there somewhere. Why are you so transparent? Why don't you care about what people think about you? Perception in this sport we're in. Why is it that you're so authentic in your expression? Where you're like, no, nah, take it, take it or leave it. I'm uh, me. Cause going back to what I said earlier, it's kind of like I prayed for what I didn't want. Respect. <laughs> I didn't. Um, I didn't want to be the person that like it'd be like I get asked what happened, <laughs> and it was crazy because I actually asked uh, right before I went into my situation. I actually had a chance to talk to. Uh, I met Roscoe Dash probably like three days before. For sure, shout out to Roscoe. I too. met yeah, shout out to Roscoe. I met him about like three days before. I received a call about um, potentially entertaining my situation. Right. And the same question that I get asked is the same thing I asked him. Bro, you was one of the biggest in, at that time. Like, I, I knew all your stuff. What happened? And very vaguely, he told me what to watch out for. But because I kind of wasn't understanding, I just was like, uh, okay. It didn't make sense until after. But I think you know, like, I don't blame nobody for however they decide to move or, or continue with their life. Um, it wasn't spoken about. And I've been very passionate about, like, I've always been passionate about independent artists. Like, right. again, being the oldest of 10, right. I really do want to see people win because that's naturally my spirit the as voice. an older brother. I just kind of, I choose to root people on because, I, you know, I'm just a caretaker. That's just who I am. So You said that in numerous interviews yes. bro. like you you i, I want to see us come together That's i want to do the features with if you're unsigned you're signed you're major i don't care i am who i am yes you also spoke highly of money mood too yes just saying he was authentic yes just since from 2018 like uh he was one of the, the the very few people who who stayed true like every time i saw Moo in the club it was always like love he didn't he right. wasn't never the people, one of the people that tried to turn his head. Like when he seen me and stuff, always congratulate. Right. And it was, it was crazy because, you know, like where I'm at in my life now, I'm grateful for it. So I don't never like wanted to come across as if I'm shading anybody or if gotcha. I'm talking about, I just want to be real and just tell the real, truth. Real, real. Um, a lot of mental and psychological games were played in which, uh, like circling back to the money move situation, you know, a lot of people was like, man, how did you get all these features, bro? And you couldn't. But they don't understand the psychological of that was to break me down because it was wow. to show me I'm going to get you a feature, but I ain't going to put no marketing behind because I'm going to show you even with all the A-listers, you can't do it. Really? I, and I know I'm as funny as it sounds and it's like, oh, this and the third. People don't understand. Again, when you haven't reached a certain peak, you don't want nobody else to reach that certain peak. And What's your, the parallel you drew? Yes. From parents, yes, to their their children, natural yes. children, you know, uh, 
I'm, I'm not discrediting any person, anybody. I'm just making an analogy. I'm a, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a cafeteria lady. Yes. You know, who do you think you are trying to be the there principal? There you go. There you go. You now, can't really see so, if you ain't did it bigger. And that's that's why schools are a pipeline. How many of your teachers have ever made $100,000 a year? Don't do that's that. That's why you get don't them do doing it. And that's why, like, I homeschool all my children. Real, real. I don't put them in that system because nobody's ever going to downplay you. Like, I know you are, and I'm instilling in you. Because it's it has to be instilled. Real. We don't work for people. We don't do applications you learn how to you don't learn how to fill out like w2 you learn you learn the skill sets of other people you learn how to I love that, bro. build a business and yeah. that's what i implement in my kids like you know i teach them entitlement and the reason why i teach them entitlement is because somebody had to get it and you need to hold on to it Real. so if i teach you to go through the struggle you might not be built to go through the struggle because my kids are suburban kids gotcha they don't listen to rap right. they're not on social media <laughs> right. they don't know how to talk slang gotcha. they don't hang with hood kid and Real. i'm not opposed to it it's just you did that i did it why would i why put, would them, I put them back why would and I? I actually had to have my son to tell me that because i was telling him uh you're not tough enough i'm gonna take you over there to the hood so you can see he right. said why would you do that because I would never go to the hood. I heard that and it was like, I needed that to change my mind. Absolutely right. You're absolutely right. You don't. You don't. But and I apologize good. to him. It, it sounded good, good right. but that was because that's what I was taught. So kind of going back to it, um, I kind of had to learn the history of the person I dealt with. Gotcha. No disrespect to them again. Um, you know, you already said his name before. People know who I'm talking about, but the reality is you didn't make, you didn't see a million views on any of your YouTube videos. You didn't do anything as far as with your feature, like all the features you had didn't get you anywhere. And it didn't give you the mentality to help people. It gave you that mentality to chase a lifestyle you never lived, but how by any means necessary. And that's where I felt like you mess up. Like you mess up by having that mindset because that's that's not the mindset God intends for us to have. Gotcha. And so it's kind of like, in a sense, you kind of thought I should feel what you felt or what you went through by I'm gonna get the features, but I'm not gonna put no marketing behind it because I would end up eventually turning to what happened with that situation, his his situation. Gotcha. And so even coming around to Money Move, um, the Money Move situation was because there was nothing that could break my spirit despite I seen what was going on. At that time, I wasn't understanding the psychological games because it, it's, it's chess, not checkers. Okay. And if you don't know how to play the game, the people that's typically artists have people in their corners that's from the label. Gotcha. The people in front of the label are not your people. Right. So my manager was playing a divide and conquer game where it was kind of like, I'm all for you. But he wasn't for me. He would talk bad about, you know, my the 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 label manager at the time. He would talk bad about Boom. Okay. But I didn't know that he was in cahoots with Boom where they was trying to get me to turn on Boom so Boom can have a reason to say I wasn't loyal. Wow. But, uh, I mean, it's chess. Was your manager I'm, given, or this is who you came in with? No, that, my manager was given. Gotcha. Because I didn't understand the business. At, at, when you think that people are for you, you take whatever they give you because you it's like, yo, you need this, that, and the third person. And instead, of, I didn't have a mindset to say no. And that's why I admire Fujiano and Hancho are two people that I see that they went against the grain of what the industry I seen firsthand for, for myself. Gotcha the fear that can be implemented when people say, no, I'm not going for it. And that's why Fujiano got further than what I did because he was a, he was a cool dude. You weren't going to play with food though. Wasn't gotcha. nobody going to play with food like, yeah, he, he, uh, nah, bro, I'm not going. By that time, it was too late for me though because I had you already just, I already built like, I, I was already family. not even gu gullible. It wasn't even really a fan. It was just me being gullible. Like, whatever I'm told, if I was told, bro, you... Look, I need you to jump off this bridge. I'm going to jump off the bridge because the church had me feeling like, bro, I was going to get there too. That's bro. It, it all came back like whatever I put out is that's what's coming back. So I just I was out of touch with 
the realness of how people could actually be like the deceitful side of it and it was like um like i said with the with the move situation it was kind of like there was nothing that was breaking my spirit to make me be like disloyal or it wasn't nothing that can go out to the to the um to the masses to make it like to put a bad name on my on me so it was like it started with the fujiano situation putting food in front of me this this is okay so this i'm trying to make sure i have the right times mm -hmm. i remember vividly you mm -hmm. the real ga shout out to real ga yes sir. shout know, out to gabriel uh, Adam, you know so, yeah it's boy. uh moo mm -hmm. oh jeezy gotcha and G, who who's Jeezy was literally the second one. Gotcha. I didn't. Okay, I, I'm that, not familiar with. It. Oh, G, okay. Jeezy, Jeezy hard. Jeezy Escobar, he was hard. Gotcha. Um, more laid back. He got a different style. Okay. And he he's very persistent, and I respected him because um, at that time, what what was going on was Jeezy was supposed to be my replacement for. It was kind of like the the sad part about it is you kind of like clickbait you kind of like it's like i'm gonna pretend like i'm gonna build you up and then i'm gonna wash my hands with you and get somebody else in but so you're almost watching your replacement come in i'm watching my replay but it was all we was told that we was building a team and right. it was kind of gotcha. like gotcha. like really okay. what's supposed to happen is and it's like i hate to say this but it's like this with most most team like when I say most teams, as in like how we got an independent label, most labels don't bring in people to make a strong team together. Like it's not like the Hot Boys. It ain't like uh, No Limit and them. Like it's more of to turn two people into rivals because you gotta understand, artists are pretty much like exotic car rentals where they can be liabilities and assets. Gotcha. You gonna collect the insurance off of them anyway, so it's kind of like. If they crash out on each other, that that's cool. You you go to jail. Okay, cool. I'm still going to collect your revenue. You die. I'm still going to collect your either way it go. And so they usually bring us in not to really build a family because the problem with that is if you don't have our best interest, we're going to be like-minded and think together and say, you see what I'm saying? Gotcha. So we don't need y'all to, to... It's almost like turning a slave against the other I got, slave. So saying, I don't need y'all to join together. Not, not purposely, you know, because it probably goes on at every label, but not yes. purposely. We can't pit each gonna, other against each other, but that's what we making, ultimately want to do. Gotcha, but not making it wholesome. Uh, in front of the camera, we're going to make it wholesome. But so, I know you, blood. I know he could, and I know he got a problem with, I know his people got a problem with his people. It's going to somehow going to have to make a feud between these wow. two people. Like, and so ultimately that's how, or they also do the, the method of, I think he's catching on. And if I'm scared of him, I'm not really going to go get another artist. I'm going to go get some more protection because now that I got this new person, it seems like you're jealous of that person. When in actuality, somebody's coming to understand, hey, bro, let me holler at you. Oh man, he trying to holler at me right now. I think, uh, you need... And how I was, because I was so gullible, wow. I was ready to take off anybody behind that, behind, you know, gotcha. boom at that time, because I didn't, I didn't know, but I knew he gave me the opportunity. So, real. You keep bringing new artists on, but. Um, Are you so, loyal by default? Like, just. By default, I'm loyal where I'm supposed to be loyal, never in business. Gotcha. Now, now that I've learned what I learned, because it's two things that happen in business there's loyalty and there's opportunity. And we mess up. I miss more opportunities because of my loyalty. loyalty. Not understanding that, you know, I just didn't understand. I'm loyal to my family. I'm loyal to where I need to be. But for the sake of business, I'm not a cutthroat person. I make the best decision for myself, but it's never going to be secretive. If I'm going to take from you, I'm going to tell you I'm going to take from you, and I'm going to tell you why I'm going to take from you, and I'm going to tell you the leverage, but it's never going to be disrespectful. And if you don't like it, you can take it or leave it. Gotcha. I know uh, I also interviewed Money Moo as well. Yes. He said he signed a two-year term. Yes. What was your term? <sighs> My I signed a two-year term, but every time... Um, it was always because I wanted to... My mom is a narcissist. 
so by nature I gravitated to a lot of narcissists because I had to find out through therapy like my ex was a narcissist my best friend was a narcissist everybody that I attracted were narcissists because coming up I have fallen victim to a comfortable situation that was broken so I always try to reignite those same type of situation with those same type of people to fix what I never was able to fix with my mom Bro, so, you are. Let me just stop and say, bro, I appreciate your transparency. Bro. Yes, sir. you're gonna help a lot of people. Even I, I talking have like to, that, bro. Have Even to talking like that. We don't. We don't be knowing, bro. We make right of what we know, and it don't always be right, though. Wow. So I went into a situation with, um, and again, not to call nobody out, but just be transparent. Right, I right. went into a situation with a narcissist because I've heard the stories of people did this to me, people did, and I wanted to be that person that would never do that not knowing that event that I was being taken advantage of. And so whenever they did something wrong, I just sweep it under the rug and can't wait till they be nice to me again because I wanted to be needed. I wanted to be wanted and accepted. And um, through that mistake, um, I would renew my deals. Uh, I never seen any money from my music ever. Okay, let's let's get in that for all the because it's gonna be a lot of up and coming artists watching yes. this interview. Yes, when you say you never saw, you know, this goes to Meat Mill as well. They mm -hmm. say I never see anything off my music. Yes, what do you mean by that? Um, I mean, so features. I was grateful to get the features, but the way my features were coming about. It wasn't just because people were watching me. It was because people were going through this consultation in which they was being sold a dream that Whoa. Euro's about to sign this huge deal that's about to turn him into a future. So you need to get a, a feature, feature with him man. right now. So my features were coming more so on that and not just people just reaching out to say, uh, I had people saying they wanted a feature, but the sad part about it was when people would be like, yo, I got 10 bands for a feature. They say no. We can do more with that ten bands. Give us the ten bands. We gonna just give Euro like a thousand for the feature, and we gonna get you in these. The, we gonna do the same thing. We gonna do that we, that did. we did with Euro, to and that's you. how. Yes, and that's how this that's process how, keeps. And that's how the process kept going. And so, and you were privy to this. You knew up front or towards. I didn't in the know. Middle, you knew I never during knew. it. I didn't go through the process of what other people other people went through because at that time when I came. The only other person that was seemed like they had some some stardom was Noah, the white Noah, boy. Noah, that's right. And uh, Wavy was the song and that you, you produced, produced as well. Yes, I actually exactly produced that whole wow. thing. Yep, and, and that's how you you know just to bring it back. That's how Boo Man discovered me discovered because you. it was like, dang, I want I want to pay. They wanted to pay me for the feature, and then they found out I produced it as well. So it was like, wait, you rap and, and produce? produce? I'm like, yeah, like you know all that. So it was like. After that, it was just kind of like, it just I hate to say it, but it was kind of like, I didn't know what was going on with Noah, but by that time, Noah had already started tripping, but I didn't know why Noah was tripping. And what I was being told by Boom was he was tripping because he didn't want me to come over there. But again, going back to what I just told oh, you. you saying Noah didn't want you to come Noah over? Noah didn't want, Noah, he was like, bro, Noah's jealous of you. That's what it is. He, he mad because he only wanted to be the only artist here, and now he think you taking the star power. And I was just like, I didn't, know it to be true but i knew boom was over us so i just kind of gotcha. i didn't add, going back to church Go i didn't ahead. ask no questions no why i was just like dang it never stopped me from liking noah but i did know noah was being distant and, and put he a guard wasn't up talking naturally yeah, to he didn't want to do no songs to me with me he didn't want to talk to me no none of now, that you, now you became competition uh, supposedly and i became the face of ae and not him and so um Whatever happened with Noah's situation, it was just like a lot of talk. And I was just kind of missing all the red flags. I just was kind of naive. I just, gotcha. I didn't know. I didn't know. So um, Noah's out the way. I'm now in the face of AE. Um, and now it's kind of like. Let me let me go right here. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? You know what I mean? Like, because cause you're doing it independently with the independent label which you also mentioned in a previous interview it wasn't even like a label it was like more so a you know like a service it was a, it, was it was a, a like service, service thing that's exactly what it was it was they made money off of like so they was more so like doing fraud in which they was like washing the money through the 
the fake labels and stuff like that. And at that time, like when Zelle and Cash App wasn't being, the IRS wasn't monitoring it, it's, it's easy to say we ain't got no income coming in because the money's coming through another way. So they was like, um, there was another business partner that came in that had the whole blueprint, but I'm not mentioning it. Like I, I ain't on here. I, I did my history. I, I okay, know exactly so you know, what you're it's, yeah. So it was kind of like, um, um, at that time, I just didn't understand how the consultation was working or none. I just kind of knew people wanted to be a part of the label. But I knew one thing I did, I can say, but again, being gullible, not understanding, I never seen nothing like it. I didn't understand how so the many business I didn't understand the business model because I didn't know labels work. But then again, I've never been with a label. So how do I know how labels actually work? I, I'm like, oh, maybe this is what's going on at Atlantic and Universal. Like maybe they do get people that pay to come up here and submit their music and stuff like that. I didn't know. Wow. Um, but you just realized you were the shiny Lamborghini out front. Yes. As the. Yes. And the battery pack that I had in my back was. You already got like a two million dollar deal on the table, a million dollar oh, wow. deal on the table. So it's kind of like we just going to entertain these. Uh, we're going to entertain these means, but we ain't going to take no deal because we already really got the deal solidified. But there was never no deal solidified. That wow. was just kind of like that was that battery pack I need to keep going strong. Like I already know I'm locked in. I'm I'm good. So I was able to keep a, a good face, good countenance, right. um, countenance because it was like. My dream was kind of already sold to me on what it was going to be. Gotcha. So and, um, you, you, you at this, your first major feature was Lil Baby. It was Gunner first. Gotcha. But we pushed the one with Lil Baby because Lil Baby's exposure was a little bigger than Gunner at that time. Gotcha. That's yeah. right. And that was, how was that taking off? You know, and of course, interviewing Boom Man, mm -hmm. you know, he made it happen. Of mm -hmm. course, this is his business model of, mm -hmm. you know, even talking about Money Moo, he didn't even know, you know, certain things through research even you know i didn't even know i had this feature lined up you yeah. know what I'm saying that's, I that's how it was that's it, it, it's like you know like you didn't even have the leverage to say no i want this person or we, never, like we never we never did like, and that's where a lot you know i think that's where a lot of people get misconstrued because it's kind of like we were never ever in control of anything like nothing it even was, even down to like i hate to say it but bro i was so gullible and green that people don't even know even now I get people that be like, bro, why you don't follow me? Bro, I wasn't in control of my social media. Like, he, it, whoever come in my DM, he can delete. You he can, yeah, he can answer. You he mentioned this about the late, great Nipsey Hussle as well. Through yeah. research I saw, you said, Nipsey said, I was following you. I didn't even know you yeah, was following I didn't me. Know. But, but I was following you at the beginning. I had no that. idea. But I also, because I was told that my, I never wanted my loyalty to be questioned. Real. So anytime I got you, I was so green to where if Boom inquired about somebody, I didn't even down to females. If he see a female, if, if a female want to talk to me, but she want bro, I don't want to talk to her no more because I don't want my loyalty to be questioned. With him. Be qu not even. I just never even, wanted my loyalty to be questioned because you have integrity. There you go. And I was just, you know, is. I mean, I do happen. understand, bro. I do. It, now, think about it, day though. It'd be saying. funny, bro. Like, cause I'd be kind of like, God, <laughs> I can't bro, believe. I <laughs> but it's, it's. I, I do understand that, bro. I do yeah. understand that. So, move, let me ask you this: What currently drives you? Twenty twenty four. What's mm -hmm. driving you? Um, understanding business, real, and understanding anything that I have a problem with. I need to dissect what is my problem. Anybody I have a problem with, what is that control of it? over me as to why they're making me upset because nine times out of ten I just need to learn a business and implement that like gotcha. before I let you take advantage of me I'm a, I just gotta figure out like what it is so you know most artists again it's not about leverage don't leverage your talent if you need funding figure out how to get, get funding. funding just figure out how to start a business to where even like how Young, Young Dolph died with over uh, R.P. Dolph but Dolph died with over 100 houses. Right. You think he was worried about signing anybody? Because he's already figured out how to generate income. And once you learn how to do that, and it might take some time. That's right. But the freedom, like, even now, I get people ask me all the time, like, you ever going to jump back into music? I mean, when I started, I was broke. And I was trying to figure out how to leverage my talent to right. get something. But now that I've figured out how to get some money, I don't know. Maybe I might go back. Maybe I might sign somebody and just do things the right way if the it's possible. But I don't. 
I don't know. I can't really say. I For real that that hunger to do music just ain't the same as it is because, because now what I want to talk about and rap about is getting a wife Come and on, bro. um and, 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 and owning businesses and how to leverage business stuff. But that's not what people would be able to understand. So I do just understand that. Be it's like, crazy because you said it and then you mentioned <laughs> Dolph because. That was what Dolph was really about. That's what he was really about, he business. To, he had to speak on certain and things. See, and, I, you and, I, and for me, I'm just, <laughs> you right, I ain't bro. even with hanging around. I'm just not with hanging with low vibrations. Bro, I don't talk I pistols. That. I respect uh, that. I, I still got shooters, but I go around and talk to them. And like, saying, we bro. even build. We don't, Destroy. we ain't talking about, yeah, we ain't talking about like, yo, who we need to take off and stuff. We not, we just don't get down like real, that. Real, like, real. you know, every time I go to the hood, it's a positive. Like, even my right hand is like, he don't even mess around with women. He take care of his family. Come like on, that's bro. that's what we on. Like we on everything that the industry tell us not to be not on. To we be on, on. We ain't on no drugs. We ain't buying section. We ain't doing nothing to be looked and be discovered by people as following something that we been saying we was going to change. I can't tell people I'm trying to get y'all out the hood and I'm doing hood stuff. It don't wow. make sense. I got to show you it's different and show you that it's cool to be different. Real, that's right. I can wear a suit and be fly that's and still right, be. Bro. I go in different rooms. I have different discussions with different people. So it's kind of like, and you can embrace that and still know who you are. That's right. That's you, right. I still listen, man. I, I t man, turn on anybody like, I'm talking about blasting rap all throughout wherever I'm going. It's the end of third when I get there. It's like I conduct my business still as a man, bro. Right. I take care of my house like ain't about women ain't about like none of that low vibrational stuff bro like it's it's different ain't about these chains ain't about jewelry it's about like it's about everything that like god gonna give you everything that you want as long as you working in your purpose but the, the it's a gift and a curse because the human side of me i really want to show people like i that the human side of me wants to say now nah, y'all thought i fell off i'm gonna show you this down the third but, but every time I had that mentality to do it. God prolonged giving me whatever it was I wanted because exactly. I'm not giving it to you for that purpose. Real. So now I'm three houses in. Come on. Cars, clothes. Come on. Jewelry, beautiful wife, five beautiful boys. Like life is great, but it's like God. There's nothing that I can put on social media and show because it's kind of like I'm not giving it to you for that purpose. Thank you, bro. You serve me, bro. I'm gonna give you what you want, but it's for you to enjoy, like not for the people who out here struggling to get there and stuff like that because they might not understand it and then they might not have the same intention of congratulating you for the things that you do have so it's kind of like it's a gift and a curse because you it just ain't meant to I tell people I do understand that bro it just ain't meant it's, to tell people I do bro. understand that it and ain't so, meant to show so and, and some people will never understand that they would never understand it bro they, and it, but, say, but, you know he ain't showing it he ain't got it but and that's how it, but you can't be trying to entertain those people because low the vibration. people, low vibrational people, like, I don't knock people who not who, who rock chains. I'm not saying none of it is wrong, but it's kind of like, whatever you decide to serve your purpose, if your purpose is to cause people to die, if that's what you promote, if that's what you about, then I can't be mad that you get right. everything that come with that. If you get jewelry, cars, clothes, women, uh, money, if it's everything that you wanted and you never wanted to take that pure intentional route, which will be humbling, right. which will be, it's not the easiest path. It don't come with the That's glitz right. and glam. Then, hey, bro, it is, you know, I can't be mad at you, bro, Real. because I chose a different path Real, and I knew bro. I chose a different path from 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 my youth. Real. And it's like some way, somehow, God gonna bring you back that's to it. That's a fact. That's right, bro. Yeah. That's right. That's right, bro. And that's, that's the thing, bro. Like, And even as you say, you know, this game, it used to be to where we had to, you know, Source Magazine, Double XL, We had all, BET. there you go, there you it's go. Like, 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 now it's, it's, um, none of that no more. It's none of that. Ain't no magazines. Ain't no, you know, you know, but I can get people all the time, but I can get you on the radio. But what? Who listens to, to the radio? radio? <laughs> Who listens to the radio? Realistically, <laughs> like, you know, not trying to be funny, yeah, but it's like, like Music like, video. We ain't talking about music. Who want to see a music video? I can be, I'm on Instagram. It's real, bro. Wow. So it's kind of like, you know, the reality of it is kind of like changing. It's changing, bro. And I, I'm just grateful to know that it's like even today I'm still relevant. Like, Real, but I'm bro. relevant amongst the youth. Like kids 15, 12, 9. It's like their parents don't get it because their parents is my age. Real. But walking through the mall, I can't I can't even take my kids through the mall because it's like, oh my God. 
Oh wow. my God. People see, oh, wow. my bad, my bad. People, oh my God, oh my God. And their parents looking like, what? what? They don't know what's <laughs> going on, it. but it's like, kids are on to YouTube now. They don't watch Real, Cartoon Network, bro. Disney, Nickelodeon. Ain't no more of that. They're watching. We're like the new Cosby channel, uh, the new Cosby family on, on YouTube. It's so it's kind of like, that's where, that's where it is. So it's like, I might not be relevant amongst my peers, but I'm relevant to a generation that's coming up now. And it's kind of like, at this point though, I'm just so numb to it. It's like, we got to be a million subscribers. I do understand like, what you're saying, bro. I be I, I I be wanting to have the passion to be like yes I did it it's just it ain't there bro I do it's like a you know the the point proven I have to point proven bro like because you realize, but I feel like I never proved the point like because I wanted to prove the point through music and it didn't it just didn't come through music do you just because you know you have you're on a mission regardless yes. of what it is however it is mm. you know uh, just like you mentioned you know now I've learned the game and I've been through it firsthand mm. you know coming back you know who you are, what you represent, the music don't stop. You yes. know, like, a, do you feel like you, that management, that label owner, that's something in the fu future that you see? Or you don't if want I, it, because you said it's- It ain't that I don't want to. I think everything comes with political science because it's always business and business is forever evolving. That's right. If I can figure out a recipe to where I can help make people successful and do it the right way, then I would take on that kind of venture because ultimately my end goal would be to be put people in a better position, really? in a better situation and to help them that's right. Um, do that because ultimately I feel like that's that's um that's also fulfilling my purpose. Really? To be that's a better right. person and to show people how to be a better person and to instill in them to be a better person. Um ultimately get artist therapy everybody need therapy and we don't need it they get a lot of trauma filled people like all of us from people from the hood oh, it, stuff it, with it, trauma it shows in the music and, and that's it that's, that's all we ever end up that's, that's right. all we ever end up with so it's kind of like if there was any way i could um literally change somebody's life for the better to where they can make better business decisions where they can where i can just shed light on like you don't gotta play the game of what they saying for gotcha. it to to have a good outcome gotcha then i would part I, I i would definitely take that on real i would definitely take that on let me ask you this dating back a year mm -hmm. what's something you learned about yourself hmm um dating back a year i think i would uh i would say execution real um I struggle with what a lot of black men struggle with, which is, you know, I even, I got people that graduated college and the hardship today that most black men struggle with is women empowerment. And what they don't understand is women empowerment wasn't something that God put on this earth. Not saying women are not supposed to have power, but women are our helpmate. But there's always been an agenda set in place in which when they came about with Section 8 and welfare, mm -hmm. you weren't able to get it unless the man's That's not right. in the house. Not present. That's right. Then there was the crack epidemic or drug epidemic in which you was either a user or a seller. Right. So you was going to prison or you was using, it left your family. Right. Now with this women empowerment, it's almost like a tax season mindset of I don't need you. So they're encouraging our women and they're pushing this agenda because now the man is losing his mind because he don't know how to take care of his household. Typically, the, the woman has the better job in the house nowadays. And because we grew up thinking that the man's supposed to take care of the house, that's what we were taught. Men are feeling less than because we're not being equipped with those saying, like, nobody's giving us grants to say, but they also understand you make the be be you make the black man you put the, you shed light on a black man taking care of his family. Others gonna follow suit and learn how to do it, and it's gonna build up the community. But okay, that's okay. not the part of the agenda. So, um, I had to learn execution, and and when I say execution, is a lot of black women get sick because it's oh you always trying to start this up and start that up and start and this failed, this failed. We weren't given not we as black people we don't mm -hmm. have knowledge it's not we couldn't find it in books but you know not gonna find it in college a lot of what black men have to find out is through ex uh, experimenting 
and, and failing. Like that's, that's how a, fact, a lot of ours, like even me, I'm just getting to a place where I'm on my feet and, and having a successful business and being able to say, oh, thank you. Like I can finally breathe now because it took that time of like experiment and failing because that's just what it takes. And a lot of time it takes money. It takes fact, somebody man. having to believe in you having a dream again to that's go. Right. And, and then, you know, it's just, we don't have the funding. We don't have the resources. We don't have a credit score through the, under the, the Isaac Fairhays Act or something like that. They don't even have to explain why you receive the credit score that you receive. So it's like, when you applying them for some on the application, they asking you your race. You can imagine you put black. You not getting you, and it's like, but you learn through all that through ex Real. experimenting. And so for me, experimenting, um, I had to learn execution and not being scared to just say, go forth because I was doing a lot of procrastinating because I didn't want it to fail. Gotcha. And because I didn't want it to fail. I wouldn't even start because I, I spent so much time thinking and then looking at, well, I could go left here. How do I foolproof this? Can't really figure out how to foolproof nothing. You just got to go with like trusting your gut. And so it was kind of like, I have a business now called a Sew House where um, uh, I allow seamstress for, it's a membership based thing where I bought a house and instead of Airbnb in it, um, I was like, man, I always wanted to take on clothes. So I make custom one-on-one -on -one pieces, Come on. but it's a membership base where even if you come, you can still make money because depending on if I like your piece or not, right. if you don't have a clientele to sell it, I take it, I sell it. Got like, you. you know, I I buy wow. it from you and then just up put my ticket on it right. and and sell it for wow. more. Or, um, you know, it's it, it's just something different. That's that's is is it just so happened to be so like lucrative to where I'm backed up and we right. ain't even officially open wow, yet. But bro, it's like it's it's like that's the blessing part of it because it's kind of like catering to where the need is real and that's what you know even with our youtube we don't necessarily want to do kid content because we're adults gotcha. we, we love our kids but it's kind of like we want to do something that's easily come natural for right, us right that's right that's gotta right. go to where the need that's is. that's right bro that's where right. the need is you that's you real. apply it and it's like bro that's where it, that's eat. where it starts and where it goes you can't bro. do I'm what you, you you can't do what you want till you do what you need i don't know one tree with one branch bro. there you go <laughs> it real. don't work you know like that that's it real, just don't bro. work that's like right. that like that's real bro so that's um yeah and i, and I want to get on that too where did you the fashion all right it's no secret mm. i can't dress no, nah, you, nah, <laughs> you walked in here bro. I you, you, like can't you playing to say <laughs> but yeah you playing to say i get it though bro like you i always say you know it, music entertainment yes you guys are walking billboards yes you put it on i appreciate you it you don't bro. miss i appreciate you don't it. miss bro <laughs> yeah how do you where did you get it. that sense of and this now i'm thinking right now mm -hmm. this dates back to even high school mm -hmm. middle school you're like no nah, i come i come it was something different different it just, it's, just, it's just different like your appearance is everything they say you can't judge a book by its cover and that might be true but you can get in a lot more doors looking presentable than you can because by nature, it's just certain things we put out there and say we shouldn't do. You can't help what's inevitable. Like if I see somebody with a ski mask on his head and a black T-shirt and, and some, some sagging <laughs> jeans, I'm going to try to cross the street because I don't know what <laughs> he's on. on. It's real, and I'm bro. not trying to judge him. But, but bro, you're saying something. That protective though. mind, like something in my head is protecting me saying alert, alert. We don't know what's, what's going, going on. Let's just cross. Let's just cross the street just to be safe. Real, rather than find out later on. Real. So with that, it's your appearance is the same thing. You can get in a lot of doors looking like something, looking the part, and that's why I always, always tell people. Net, despite the fact people tell you be content, go ahead. You have to strive for your best because wow. at what point in the generation does it ever start if it don't start with you? You can't tell your kid to strive for excellence and you didn't you strive, strive for excellence. You was content with staying in a three-bedroom home. Now, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it, but it's kind of like if we want to push for greatness, greatness doesn't... You can't be content with greatness. Bro, you saying so. It's not even about that. It's not even about what it is. Yes. But perfect example, bro. Andrew Tate says, you know, he says to his brother Tristan, he's like, you know, driving down the street, mm -hmm. a Lamborghini passes by. He's like, doesn't that piss you off? He's like, no, no, not that someone's driving it, that someone can afford that. Yes. What did they do in life? What did they do right to where they, you know, and it, it could be wrong, yeah. but what did they do in life to be able to, but I think a lot of that is, you know, 
you know, I was just, it's a Lamborghini for somebody. It's a big mansion for somebody. Mm. It's a it's a 10-day cross-the-world trip. Yep. Some people can afford that. And it's not about the money. It's about the mind. It's a mindset. Speaking you of that, to... bro, you had a quote. Yes. It's drawn. You said this in a prior interview. You said, it's not about the money. Yes. It's about the mindset. Because yes. once you have the mindset, everything else comes. Everything else comes. Real, bro. If you got a million dollar check right now in the bank, but you can't cash it right now, it seemed like you broke. But you got a million dollars in the bank right now. Now, you don't have to have a million dollars in the bank right now, but if you take on that mindset, I got a million dollars, um, you're going to apply yourself the way. And that's why I can't tell my sons to be the great. I can't tell them to carry themselves a certain way. And I think it's okay for me. I have to go to the gym. Real. I have to eat. Like, even now, my on, my, my son, like, he's, um, he, um, Right now, he he can't do carbs and stuff like gotcha. that. Like, you know, we, we're trying to help him. But I said, you know what? Maybe this is a sign that I shouldn't even be doing do custard. It. I came off the carbs. I do wow. proteins and, and, really? and just... So the keto, in a sense. Almost a keto, but I do ke- uh, veggie. I did keto do, before. Un, it's just, like under it, 100 keto's grams. Keto's a little too like, so hard, hard for me, yeah, bro. Under 50 Ooh. grams, is, that ain't easy, bro. It's, it's not real. easy for That's me, real. so... That's real. Um, it, it, it just kind of like... Strive to be your best That's right. every day, bro. Just because, and it's like, don't fall in the mindset of being content because wow. your generation and the generations to come will never get ahead. Because how do you, how do you yell at your kids for not trying and not making good grades or not getting ahead in life when you settle for being whatever your job is? Wow. Because God didn't give you the mindset to okay, just baby. work for somebody. No disrespect. No, nope, but you're And it's no disrespect, but realistically, bro. and it's like we carry that mentality of being angry all the time, and we answer for everything except for the reality of, I didn't do my best, so now I'm mad at everything. everything. When you said the same thing about the Lamborghini driving past, what was it about it that made you upset seeing that Lamborghini? Real. The, the actuality, actual- you didn't try your best. Man. Because that could have been yours as well. Absolutely. And if it wasn't yours, if it wasn't meant to happen, striving to do your best, you still find out that there's always a better outcome. It, bro, it, regardless. When you, when you put your best, the best will come. The, your the best thing will is, come. Everybody stays on an average safe yes. playing field. So yes. it's like, you know, and then when they see someone who's trying their best, yes. those are the ones who get casted out. Yes. Because like who who do you think you who are? Who you think you are? And that's, <laughs> hey, bro, that's, that's real, bro. But I, I, I think I'm somebody that God created on, in the likeness of Himself. So who am I to fall short and not strive for, for, right. for excellence? Like who am I to cower over? If one thing don't work, but like life keep going. Real life keep going. You got to keep striving. That's right. How you? I'm sitting in a podcast now, on, but bro. how your podcast come about? Come on, bro. That's real. Are you asking me? Or? Yeah, I'm asking you. Bro, bro, man, we spoke off camera, bro. I actually went downtown to another podcast facility. Right. Prices. It's like, there's no way I'm paying this. And then? And then I said, I am, got on the phone with my wife, babe. I am going to invest in myself. And doing your best. And do my best. And I ain't going to lie. It's a hell of a podcast. Respect, bro. Respect. It's a hell of a co- podcast. Just from doing your best versus just settling and coming man. out of pocket in hopes of something man. happening. You never know what will happen just trying your best. That's real, bro. I never man. knew that, like, I would be successful at making clothes. I never knew that I'd be able to pay people to to be saying, okay, cool. Hey, we got to get this done. We got to this wow. done. I need this on time. I didn't see all. I saw it, but I didn't see it in a way that it came about. Real. The pivot. The like pivot. You didn't see the pivot coming. I didn't see this. that. I didn't see it. I didn't see myself. You know, I, I saw myself going in the jewelry store to buy chains and stuff Go like ahead. that. I didn't know that I would be going and actually, you know, shopping at like Solomon Brothers and and, and getting GIA certified diamonds. I did. I just I didn't know. But up, upon applying myself and trying my best, I didn't know I wouldn't care about the rap game. Wow. I I just didn't know. But you never know. Until you try to see what it is right, to do bro, your that's best. Right, that's right. And let me ask you this. What's something you learned in the last year about those around you? Um, I love people. But I tell my wife the same thing. I can't associate. I just don't associate with people with nothing to lose. Wow. You can't. And, I, and it's not that. You're you're only better than people that don't try to be better 
for themselves. People with nothing to lose, their mentality is just different. And you can tell people that have nothing to lose because everyone is equipped with capabilities of being something. Real. You That's don't fact, have to bro. be the president. You don't have to be rich. You don't. Have, but when you have something to lose, your mindset is different. You carry yourself different. You walk away from certain situations instead of saying, we finna draw down. It's like, right, bro, bro, whoa, what? hold. <laughs> bro, you just... <laughs> bro, bro, I just did three men last year. I can't <laughs> draw down on what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Why do you have a gun? <laughs> right, we not... Bro. Your mindset is always it's different real, when you have more... Your survival mechanism, like, your, your mindset to survive is a lot different from those who have nothing to lose. So there are people that you have to keep at bay... And you have to be careful because you have to be cautious and you have to also be understanding of what comes with that because the hate will be there. It's gotcha. going to be there. You know, I tell I tell my wife, like, you know, she she had somebody that was around her that I just kind of paid attention. I listened to the conversation because listening to people conversation, you never have to know a person. Is understanding the, the, the psychological of how people mindset work that'll tell you everything you need to know without even knowing them. Wow. So listening to a conversation, I'm just like, I picked up like three years before it all transpired. I know how this is going in. I told my wife, I said, I, I hate to say it. I'm going to rock with this person as long as you rock with this person. But I'm telling you how it's going in and I see it. And I'd be damned if it played out that same as that way because Integrity. that's... Real. That's what it was. You just have to understand how people with nothing to lose, what their mindset is. A lot of them never have that thought to come out of that mindset because, again, a lot of times we stay comfortable with the way that we were brought up. And that's how you get a lot of men who um, leech off of women. Bro. My mom took care of me. Say that, bro. So now at this age, now that I'm having sex, Let's I'm going to find another woman, woman to take care of me. And then, you know, bro, and it makes. Uh, I'm, I'm not talking about anybody. I understand. But it makes of a weaker man. It may. It makes of, a, and it makes you. And a those weaker are man. normally the ones who have the most issues. Yes, yes. Same, but the same thing with the woman because I hate to say it, but it goes both ways. Like, what did you go through in life that you would even accept this? Because it's uh, like, was your dad there? You have to just listen. I, I tell you know, I, I have female friends and they always come to me about advice because they know how I love my wife. They know like. They know that I even tell them I'm this way because it took my wife helping to build me up because I just didn't know. Real. And she come from a family in which her dad was always there. To this day, he's there. Real. And he a real stand-up guy. My dad was there, but my dad only knew what he knew. So to this day, my dad loved me. He's not a perfect dad. Right. And some might say he's not a good dad. But for what he know and for what he instilled in me to become something he wasn't able to become, I was able to take that and run with it. Real. Go get therapy because my wife told me I needed therapy. Gotcha. And were you initially receptive to that? I was always like, or you was like, man, oh, that's, that's no. I was I, I was always uh, with it, but okay. it. Just, I think I didn't know I needed it. Gotcha. I didn't know I needed it until. Um, I took it, and that that that's really the problem with men and women today. Is just, you know, we um, <clears throat> we just make right of what we know, right, bro, and and fill the voids and try to go through and the fill life. the voids. Bro. And I and I and I overheard like you know I got a friend who's a doctor. I overheard him talking to one of his clients, and he was telling the dude was um, explaining to him about how women are operating with these men and why they're wrong. And when he responded, the doctor responded, I hate to say it, but his response was wrong. But, you know, and I stayed out of it because it wasn't my conversation, even though I was there. People make right of all they know. So if you don't go to therapy to get help and understand why you think the way you think and why you make right of the things that you make right of, you just would never know. You just, wow. you, you will run with that notion. Of, and for a long time, I did that same thing. I was one of those people who, I, I, you know, I was low key. I was a narcissist, but I was a narcissist because I just, I didn't know. I wanted better, but I wanted to be, my way of being in control was 
I needed somebody that always needed help so I can feel like Superman by answering their problems. But when they didn't need, wow. when they didn't have problems, I didn't know how to just be at peace with and understand it because I've never been in a place where I've been able to accept people not needing things from me. Gotcha. So it's like that's even dating back to being the oldest and yes. not even recognizing the little things. Everybody so needed so something from me. Everybody. If you got nine siblings that need something, so I always needed a woman that needed something, but people that always need are people that come with problems. So I always wow. had problems. I uh, went through, you know, going through the music industry. I needed something that always had a problem because I always, it always helped me feel like Superman. Wow. And so um, therapy helped me to understand that the mindset of people is determines where you should be um, in association with them. Gotcha. I can't be in association with people who are always in need. Gotcha. Because what are you doing to get better? Now it's okay to need some time, just not at the at the pace of of how real of what I what I was used to. Wow. And so like, yeah, that's. No. Yeah, bro. No, you, bro, you unpacking, bro. bro. I'm, I'm res- telling you, bro. It's, bro, you saying some deep, stuff bro. that's gonna help a lot of people, bro. Yeah. like me included. Yes, bro. That's 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 why I love this show, bro. Integrity, bro. Like everybody that comes on. Number one, y'all are the most vulnerable. You know, you say you're not a recording artist. You forever gonna be a recording. I artist. understand that. Yeah, yes, bro. Sir. It's like because well, you're forever an entertainer. Yes, in all facets of what it's gonna be. Yes, sir. And you guys are the most vulnerable people in this on this planet, bro. Yes. So it's like that alone carries a lot of you know you have to be confident you have to be confident and, yes. and um sometimes people do confuse confidence with narcissistic yes. traits you know yes. uh had a few guests that said you know like you know no i you know not i am a narcissist but i wouldn't be here if i wasn't a narcissist i'm like wow that was really that's true that really was like a profound thought like yes. yeah i would you wouldn't be interviewing me if i wasn't i'm like you're right and that's <laughs> you know, true. Like, but yeah great people I'm just saying, not people. Great things come from narcissists. Steve yes. Jobs, these things like that. It's like, yes. yeah, you you you're pushing the envelope every yes. time. Like, yes. But uh, yeah, it's uh, you know, in in even drawing back to what you said in the previous interview as well. Like, you know, um, uh, you were saying how uh, you know, the money. It's not about the money. It's about the the mindset. The mindset. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, and you used the analogy, and I thought it was brilliant. You used the analogy, like, yeah, somebody thought, man, if I put this, I'm just saying, this wheel with this engine. With this much go, you know, and I could create a car yes. to drive. Yes. That's like, wow, you're right. It wasn't about the money. It was about the mindset. Yes. That's the most important thing. But that takes a bit of a narcissist it, it takes confidence. A bit, it, like it, a, it's how you look. And it's really how you, how you perceive things because it's not wrong to be a narcissist. In the midst of being a narcissist, it's about what your intentions are. Gotcha. I'm a narcissist in my relationship. But me being a narcissist in my relationship is allowing my wife to have whatever way she wants. Because guess what? Ain't coming with no problem with me. I just don't Real. want no problems. Real. Bro. So have your way. How you want this house painted? You want the house painted Capital Bismo pink? I don't care. <laughs> Let me have my peace. That's the narcissist of me Real, just bro. wanting my peace. But ultimately, being a narcissist is kind of like controlling what I can control. And not for the sake of just self gain. Gotcha. My self gain comes from everybody winning. I'm the oldest of ten. Gotcha. Everybody has to win. Man. If my family don't win, how am I winning? Real. And Damn. it's like carrying that mindset. It's like everything I've ever transitioned into is always one. Like if I leave one situation, you know, uh, I'm in a situation where now houses, cars, clothes, everything I didn't have in my previous situation. It's like God somehow found a way to take it from that situation. Take whoever thought they was winning in that situation. Gotcha. We had to see who's up right now because that's what matters. Like I'm, I'm still in Atlanta. Real. Probably I want to go overseas and move, Real. but until <laughs> I accomplish what I need to accomplish, it's kind of like we have to get away from looking at the materialistic gains of what somebody did gotcha. or is doing, and look at where's everywhere I have ever went in life i have been blessed real bro even to this current situation before my wife one no million subscribers it wasn't no kids i've always wanted a lot of kids and i wanted to do right, right what was messed up in my family i got everything bro you are royalty 
I appreciate that. You are royalty. I appreciate that. You are rich. Thank you. You are wealthy. Yes. Because of that. Yes. The other stuff, that's why it's like you with that integrity, man. You're like, no, like, y'all just don't know I could. I can stun you on just y'all. Don't know, bro. Listen, I can on Jesus could have called the legion of angels down, bro, and it's kind of like stun on y'all. But yeah, he's like, and no. it, you know, and even my wife had to tell me sometimes because sometimes I be, you know, yeah, bro. that lion it's, in it's, me it's just kind of be bro. like, That's a fact. It, you know, just part of being a man. Like sometimes I just be like. I got to pop out. Really? Like they, they <laughs> pop out of show. I think they forgot. Like they don't understand That's the whole real, point. Bro. Like That's my right. name That's is right. Manifestation. It's got it because we bro. got it. On, like we have it. Like we the got it. Like right. I got to show these people. She's like, nah, nah. Remember how you accumulated all of this? Gotcha. Let's just keep accumulating. Real, bro. That's, right. Just, That's right. That's right. Keep bro. that same pace. If we real. winning at this pace, keep winning at this pace. That's don't try right. to run fast and trip over. Real. I like you. Right. You right. I like that. But that's the whole point of having a help me. Too much testosterone, bro. You got to listen to your woman. They try to tell us it's it, it's it's crazy, bro. It's a whole agenda. Men act like we shouldn't listen wow. to a woman. You better listen. You watch three hundred, it'll tell you everything you Go need ahead. to know. Bro. You got to have a queen. You can't be, bro. Listen, <laughs> listen. They see it as you a sign it, bro. of weakness, you bro. You got to have that balance. Too much testosterone will cause you to crash out. You got to be able to have that feminine energy around you, even if it's not in you. You got to be able. To, God talks through that woman, bro. That's a fact. God talk through that woman. You want to know? He gonna talk through that woman. I'm not saying he don't talk through a man, but it's no, I it's do like know, bro. I can't put that woman I, off. Absolutely, bro. They're nurturers. So true. They they're they're born to take care of. So it's kind of like if that love is there, they gonna give it to you. Bro, that's right. They that's gonna right, give you everything bro. you know. Like and more. I can't do nothing. Like it, it's like with that. Even being today, like you know, I don't. I, I'm just. I'm not in a space of going out to seek other women. Bro, say because that. Because of bro. that. Like, I know how I got where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? The outside of God. Me, bro. That's yes. real, bro. Like, outside it's... of God. And it was just like, it was like everything that everything that the that the industry is against is actually what you need. Wow. You don't need women, a bunch of women. You don't need a bunch of sex. You don't need validation. Go ahead, bro. You need one queen that believe in you. That, that you ultimately have the right intentions for as well. Because what you pour in them is what's going to be reciprocated. Oh, it, and if it bro. can't be reciprocated, you don't got to go around and say, none of these women ain't right. You just know that ain't the right one. Them pure intentions going to tell you everything you need to know. Wow. You actually have another one on the way. I do. Come on, man. Another boy. <laughs> bro. Uh, another up, boy. Bro. Yes, sir. Bro. <laughs> If you have a if you have a baby girl, protected. she gonna be the most <laughs> protected. Bro, protected, protected little angel this world has ever seen. Yes. Wow, bro! But Congratulations, I'm, and, and bro. Congratulations. To, be, to be to be completely transparent, I think what a lot of people don't know is I actually do. Okay, gotcha. Come on, I man. Come do. on, bro. Come on. Yeah, Come on. I do have one. Come on, um, man. Is it is it just we don't have to go in debt? That's fine. Past relationships cause certain things to. That's exactly what I uh, do transpired. Understand, is, yeah, bro. Uh, I, I I would definitely tell people because you're a stand up guy, careful. bro. You are a stand up guy. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's not about what you did yesterday. It's not about what you do. You know, it's who you are today. Yeah. And sometimes that doesn't translate. Yes. It's still well. I remember. I you mean, know, uh, people got to stick with what they remember. Bro, though, that's, and that's, and that's, that's okay. the definition of comfort. Yes. That's the definition of, you know, uh, it, it's, I often say, man, you know, like when somebody's mad at somebody, mm. it's nothing. You have to hold that feeling. That person is living their best yeah, life. But yes. It's like, uh, but I do understand that, bro. But is it? I it, do. It's a, it's a, and, it's a gift and a curse because again, with that pure intention. Yes, bro. Um, God has made it to where my situation is like, it ain't nothing I could ever get exposed of, like when it come down to it. Because I'm, bro, put it all out on the table. It's like when it come down to it, it's like I am who I am, and I ain't got no flaw. Like it took my wife helping me to figure out how my situation came about. Because growing up in the church, I only knew God and the devil. I never. We was told voodoo wasn't real. We was told witchcraft wasn't real. All this other stuff wasn't real. That's not true. Wow. And that's how my situation came about. But. I've been fortunate, been blessed enough to where even if that person wanted to like downplay me, 
what people see in the public eye of how transparent and real I am, it wouldn't even make sense for them to be how they are. So it's like, I've been fortunate enough, not on child support, not none of that. And even without us even having a relationship and stuff like that, I know who I am. I know, that's right. you know, I just know God is in control of that's right. everything. And that's I know right. my intent, like the other person knows my intention as well. So it's like, I'm not, I'm not mad about anything. Like it's just, Things happen. I do understand, bro. I Things do happen. understand. Yeah. I do. And I appreciate you even saying, because a lot of us men are going through that as well. Yeah. And uh, just to know a role model, somebody of, you know, higher elk, you know, they are going through certain things too. Yes. But not staying in it, going through it. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, transparency, my daughter, 19 years old, we, we it's been a battle, mm-hmm. you know, back and forth. It's not the best relationship. I, you know, and I, I text her maybe, you know, I said, just because the first 18 wasn't the perfect doesn't mean 19 through 36. Doesn't yes. mean 36 through 54. Doesn't mm-hmm. mean 54 through 7. Doesn't, can't be the greatest. Let's build on that now. Let's do it now. Because we don't know what tomorrow brings. And that's so important, bro. Like, because we are role models. We are leaders. We are, you know, what people, you know, somebody's watching us right now. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, so it's very important, bro, to be transparent. And lay it all out there. So I commend you, bro, to even say that, bro, because you are a figure. You're doing it, man. You, you go on your page, bro. It's, it's family. Thank you. And, I appreciate and, uh, it. I, I can name, you know, up thousands of men yeah. who don't. Yeah. And some do it because to protect. Some do it because they really ain't shit. I mean, and, like, even bro, with like, them being like that, though, bro, bro like, they need therapy. We just, <laughs> we don't know who, bro. Like, I don't blame a lot of these guys, bro, because... I know people who, bro, I know people who are on the down low, bro, and just can't wow. come out when it's like, bro, I ain't trying to be funny, bro. If I'm gay, bro, I'm just, I'm gay. I don't have a, I have homosexual friends. Like, I love them to death. I love them like I love my drug Real. dealer friends, my river. Real. And they, they embrace me the same way. Like, I have absolutely no problem just with people. the LGBT. They're people. Absol- that's how I feel, it, it, bro. How, how, feel. how have you decided to live your life? It ain't got nothing to do with me. Like, it, the reality of it is, as a straight man, I wasn't never going to sleep with you anyway. Why do I have so much hate for how you decide to live your life with whoever you decide to live your life with? Why do I have so much hate for it's something in there that is kind of like, or something that was instilled that makes us accept that when it's like, that ain't that ain't love, bro. That's not right. life, bro. Like, you embrace people however people are. But I know people who just kind of like, bro, like, they do everything in between to just be something that they not, bro. And it's just kind of like, it all go back to that therapy. Even gotcha. with, you know, like, just, just just a food for thought, maybe a solution, which, with you and your daughter's situation. Right. See how she feel about therapy. Just like, yo, let's go to therapy. And the thing is, if she's not, if she say no, then you know there's a problem in place, but somebody's not trying to fix it. And instead of, I'm not mad, but baby, whenever you hear, Real. we got a problem that we got to fix. I, you might think I'm the problem. I might think you the problem. I don't know. We don't know who the problem. But whenever you're ready to address this situation, I'm always be there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be transparent, whatever you, I'm going to hear you out. And sometimes, it, not sometimes, a lot All of times time. it takes Absolutely. another person to mediate Absolutely. our situation. My wife don't listen to me. She don't listen to that. I mean, because I'm... I'm her dude. That, right. that's, no, that's the that's wife. The way, that's the way it's supposed to. But be. we go that's, to therapy, and that therapist say the same, same thing, thing I said. said. Like, <laughs> I, just, I sit there, bro, like this, <laughs> just looking around. I ain't got to say nothing. Integrity. It's her. It's understood. Real, now that's it's right. two people that said it. if it's if it's somewhere I'm wrong about. I hear another person, like, uh, another party, and I accept it. And I just say, yo, you know what? I I never would have saw it that way. It did make sense what you said. I thought I had something to cover it up, but when they told me right. I was wrong, I what uh, I'm, I'm wrong. That's important, bro. And so it's just kind of like, and it, she might not be ready, but it always be in that ear. My dad is here for whenever I'm ready to solve. It might take a little time. Sometimes Man, people be hurt that. and they just don't. As people, you know. We, as people. As people, bro. That's human nature, as bro. As people. I often say, you know, my parents, man, as I grow older, you know, me and my brother KG tomorrow, shout out to KG. We often say, we like, dang, man, you just realized, like, man, they were just people. They were just people, they bro. They were just People. They just people. But, That's but, they, it. but we are entitled to them because they brought us in this world. As yes. my daughter is entitled to me, I brought her in this world. Yes. The entitlement, I understand that. But we are people. People. And that is one of those you things, You don't know man, what you don't know, we bro. We don't know what we... But you That's so don't. true. I will we'll explore that, bro. Yes. For sure. I appreciate that. Yes, for definitely. Sure, bro. For sure. It's, you know, everything come back 
from generation to generation. It does, bro. If you it didn't does. come from a two parent household that came from a two parent household, how do you really know who love is? What love is? People, you know, a lot of our black women bash us for running to white women, but it's kind of like if a white woman came from a household of a mixed family, you saying? Uh, no, or, like, like sometimes interracial, where they go, it go both ways. Black men bash black women. Just people bash people for going to interracial marriages or situations, not understanding there's a difference between genuine love and survival love. Wow. People that come from a one parent household or a struggling household, that survival love is a lot different than wow. from what that actual love is. You're so right. Bro. And that's why, you know, even with our, with our kids, we we the same way. I'm not, I love little Lakeisha. Little Lakeisha, she, she a sweetheart. But that hood love, I can't let my son get caught up in that and lose everything that I worked hard, hard for because he don't understand that that survival. Like, you know, I, I joke and told my wife one time, a woman with survival sex, way that you can't never give because at any given time you get do what you want to do you know how you look you know you know what your finances look like you do what you want and then you would go about your business you don't care for manly that survival i need i don't have that's all i got to give you oh that make you think a person is just wow. she got to be the one he got to be the one and we just don't understand it wow. we make right of something that we make right of what we know we use what we know and try to make right of that so it's kind of like that is you got to real. come from generations of generations of generations of understanding this is what love looked like this is the recipe for love right. I don't need from you but I can help build you I don't need I don't need I just I'm here I'm gonna be the best version of me I tell my wife the same thing you know like a lot of dudes try to put um restraints on their wife I don't do the phone thing. I don't care if my wife leave her phone and it's ringing five in the morning. It's not, I, bro, I'm not checking. Unless God you, put it bro. in my view, it's just not because the thing is, people are going to be people. And you're securing yourself. I'm securing myself to where it's like I, me understanding people, we can have the best, ahead, bro. best time of our life. And then she got a flight to go catch to L.A. and she go out there and run into a ball player or somebody that's a good looking or whatever this and the third. That few minutes of fame or whatever she have going on with him at that given time, it ain't like I don't like my man. I'm mad at my man. You a human. I don't know what you might do. Imperfect. And I can't control that. Imperfect. I can't control that. Like I, you is can't that, control. Bro, I'm, that that's just isn't people. that a part? Isn't that a part of where your integrity lies? Where your sense of you lies? Yes, bro. One thing I've learned while I'm at such a peace in my life. It's because I stopped trying to control everything. You can't. Once you realize you can't. You can't. You can't. Bro. Ain't no giving the best. It's like, man, none of that. Bro, none. It's like. Financial security. But, bro. You can't do it. But when you know you're putting best forth your best effort. Yeah. If something happens, all you have to hang your head on is, I did my best. I did my best. And I'm going to carry this best on with the next person that I'm not, I ain't about to switch out. I don't owe it to nobody. Like, you don't deserve to suffer for what somebody else did, bro. Like, this is just me. Like, this is just me. Wow. It's, it's, it's a lot, bro. Like, it's so much I can, like, yeah, bro. I, go ahead, like bro. You know, but it's gotta like, bring you back for sure, bro. For real. bro we gotta we gotta deep dive on that too, definitely. bro. For real. Yes, sir. Because you're wise beyond your age, too, bro. I appreciate it. And you said that, you know, as far as you know, your age, you know, you didn't mention your age, but just where you are in life. Mm. Bro, the prime is until 40. Okay. You're Ooh, doing dang. you're doing great, young man. I appreciate it, bro. You're doing great. I appreciate it. Like don't don't uh you know comparison is the thief of all joy. Yeah. You're doing great. I appreciate it, bro. Uh where you're going, few men make it. Yeah. You know, so so just remember that and hold your head high because you, you know, you're setting the tone. Yes, sir. For for millions. I appreciate it. You know, it. so yeah, this this story you have, bro, it's like, yeah, you're you're seeing it in real time, bro. Like who I am, what I'm becoming, what I'm about to be. Yes. And from there, look at all these branches, bro, because you're you're giving Good fruit, yes, sir. For real, yes, sir. bro. So Got just know to. that, bro. Know I that, appreciate bro. For that, real, bro. For real, bro. For real. Appreciate that. Definitely, man. Let me ask you this, man. You know, you already did speak on, you know, you feeling like life, you was a bit misunderstood. You know, who's your hero in this in this world? Hmm. That's a good question. Um.
I think a lot of people expand on people that became great. I think a lot of a lot of as crazy as this is to say I don't have enemies but I would say the people that either dislike me or the failures because I think that naturally truthfully I can say I, I've always felt I knew I was born to be great I knew it I just didn't know how to go about being great but the thing that always stuck out to me was almost seeing you ever seen the timetables and somebody get one wrong and that's the only thing that stick out to you right people flaws flaws and realizing I never want to have flaws like it I think it take watching people give up, watching people never try to be their best, mm. watching people try to downplay me, watching people that just, whatever people did wrong was something that I had to look at and say, I never want to do this. I never want this to be a part of me. And that in itself was, it took somebody else failing for me to make them my hero because it's like I can be bigger than what I saw. Gotcha. I admire, I love, God know I love Nipsey Hussle, Tupac, Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, uh, the list go on and on, but um, it's nothing like watching people never get to a level that you could get to. Gotcha. Watching Abraham never make it to the promised land, but God still giving me that opportunity to do it. Bro, go ahead. You know what I mean? Like, it's like failures wear capes too. Wow. The villains wear capes. I learned from the villains. The good people from the bad is just kind of like. Which is life. It's life. Everybody wanna, everybody wanna go there, but everybody won't get there. Real. And if you if you learn how to counter people that fell short, people that gave up, people that gave in to only selling like perception, people that didn't become who they aspired to be, you just kind of like, you know, I learned from the church. Real. I learned from a bad record deal. I learned from. Um, not having the best dad. I learned from just everything. I learned from the Abrahams. Real. The people who see it but never got there. Got you. Where do you what's what's next for you in this chapter? What's next for you? Let's talk 2024. What's next for you? What's some things you got going on? Um so 2024 again I had a um the Soul House. Um I'm definitely diving into the fashion a lot more heavily. Um, sure. My ultimate goal um, is to encourage our brothers to start dressing different because when you dress different, you carry yourself different. Real. It ain't about who's snatching the Gucci and Balenciaga and all this Go stuff ahead, first. Bro. It's kind of like identifying yourself and understanding how to carry yourself with integrity and respect and Come being on. able to be able to say, yo, like, people don't know, you know, I, I go to a lot of events where brothers can't put on a suit, bro, gotcha. for, to save their life. I'm wow. talking about these dudes having coins, bro, <laughs> and can't wear a suit. I be, bro, I be <laughs> looking like, bro, is this is this real? Like, and it's real. real. They can't <laughs> wear a suit. I, wow. I look at people and you can tell it's like, dang. They're uncomfortable. You got, this. you must, right. you uncomfortable, you got staff. <laughs> yeah. I know yeah. you got staff because the confidence is not real. there. You just kind of like, oh, I can't wait to throw on my jeans again. Gotcha. It's kind of like. So it's kind of like, and I'm not saying that a suit makes you a man, but it's just kind of like striving to be better. And when Real you get bro. to them upper tier rooms where it's kind of like, the rooms where it's just like, you got to understand the conversation and the lingo. You got to know what to look for. You got That's to right. understand like certain things. Like you you think different, you move different and stuff like that. And I that's think right. that that's what we don't understand as people. So I'm hoping to not only just influence people through music because of, I'm also working on music, but I'm working on music incorporated with the fashion world gotcha. Come on. To, to bring us to 
a different light of how to carry ourselves. Back oh, yeah, during bro. the 50s and 60s, when it was cool to own property and own land, That's right. you see how those brothers dressed. That's right, bro. You saying it so. was different. It was different. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, and it, it wasn't like what we what we do today, where we need a label to make us something temporarily until we got to go buy that label again. Gotcha. That's only a temporary feeling. But you go buy you a suit. You carry yourself a lot different. You're right. approached a lot different. That's right, bro. That's Even right. Even if you don't necessarily have to have a conversational understanding, but you're dealt with a lot different that's based on your presence. That's a fact, bro. And so it's like, I think that's something that a lot of us don't know. Um, you attract different things. That's right, bro. You know what I mean? Like, so it's kind of like, um, I'm basically trying to train, working, not trying, but I'm basically working to transition I dress code to bring her, bring awareness of higher vibrational through how we dress. Real. There's nothing wrong with like design aware stuff like that, but it's also like look at yourself in the mirror. Go dog. ahead. Go ahead. That's right. You can't be 40 dressing like how you dressed when you That's was 20. Fact, when did you ever evolve, bro? That's you got fact. to evolve. You ain't go to your graduation wearing a even if on, if you bro. graduate, you ain't go wearing a t-shirt and jeans, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of like learn to evolve. So if I can subconsciously bring people, make them aware of who they are. And as a man who's supposed to lead, yo, the, the queens follow suit. That's right, bro. That's right. Because they want, if, you, if they chasing the money and the money looking like money for real, ultimately it raised their awareness. We, wow. We, whole different vibration. Whole, whole different, different vibration. Energy. It's like, I told my son get dressed. I said, "Yo, I'm yo, you come on, you coming with me?" That's right. He in a suit. I had no idea he was going. You know what I mean? But it's kind of like I love it. That's right. That's what you you got to set that tone. Absolutely. If I can set this tone through fashion and you know, ain't nothing wrong with dressing down, but it's like the the brand name is called Ooh One on One, so it's three O's. Gotcha. Gotcha. And what we do is try to make people understand you are one on one. Real. So if we anything we design, that's the only design we have for that. So you it's your own piece. One one of one. But Love when it. you wearing it, it's kinda like you know ain't nobody, nobody in the else world got ain't this. walking in there with nobody else. With with, with nobody everybody got on and it's all like high quality. We not going wow. to get no BS and stuff and gotcha. just trying to it's all high quality. So it's kinda wow. like that's ultimately what I'm hoping to do along with bring awareness through the map music with fashion and stuff like that. Really? So um I much admire what what Gunna got going on, you know. Despite I don't get into that, caught up in that whole like Young Thug situation. Gotcha. We ain't heard from Young Thug, so don't don't try to sit here and understand. question how this man whether he still listen, bro. For all we know, Young Thug stuff got seized and he's know. at the bottom, so we don't know we if don't Gunna know. out here doing his thing. We don't know how those attorneys being Real. taken care right. of and nothing right. like that to be even indulging in that right, kind of bro. information Absolutely. but what I can say is what the transition he's made as a man um, I I much aspire to incorporate my fashion with my music Real. just to rebrand because that's the type of lane and that's Real. where I'm at with it so respect no more of the street stuff that's real bro respect yeah. respect when it's all said and done mm -hmm. King got it what is your legacy greatness and pure intentions, accountability. Um, the only person that's ever left um, a crazy impact on me was Nip. Um, his passing made me want to be a man to my woman. Um, wow. I hope, I hope, I'm just, I hope you understood what you meant by that. I did. Because we often think we have time. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of, you know, I ask this question every, every episode. Mm -hmm. Are you married? Do you have any hopes to be married? Mm -hmm. To every black man, every white man, mm -hmm. whoever it is that comes across the stage, every woman. Mm -hmm. It's important. Yes. It ain't about the jury on your finger. It's not about that. Mm -hmm. Just the union. Yes. It's a, uh, you know, like, man, I'm humbled yes. that somebody wants to spend their natural life with me. That is so humbling. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's a 
feeling unlike anything else in this world. Fact. Yeah, we're entitled to our children. You know, like there's no chains on the front or back door. For sure. For a woman. Mm -hmm. They can leave anytime they want. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so it's like to be that humble, man. But just to hear you say that, it's like you get it. I get it, bro. And I think that for me, that was the first time I was able to see that a person died with a cause. Like, I heard of my Martin Luther King. I heard of Malcolm X. I wasn't present during them times to know what that impact felt like, but I was present to see that somebody like me from the hood, from the streets, from the struggle, they carried their self with integrity and with a purpose, and it wasn't a messy situation with different baby moms coming about this, that, and the third. They literally left a legacy that it might not have been a lot of people that followed, but the one person that it led that impact, you started somebody making somebody else say, I want to make a change. Man. Yeah, that's... Um, respect. Yeah. Respect. Respect, bro. Yeah, that's... Um, that's what it was for me, bro. Like, I just feel like, like that's the closest thing to, to God to me because it's kind of like... Um, so many, so many of us as artists pass, and it's like, you know, I ain't gonna say you be forgotten, but it's like, what did you leave, bro? What did you contribute to change to push people to move forward? And much of me finding my, um, finding myself, and even being a better person came from, yep, yeah. Bro, that's major, bro. Yeah. So, wow. If I can just inspire, um, just inspire change, bro. Just inspire us as men, knowing what we went through, what we go through, that's right. to be better. That's, that's it. That's it. Your legacy. Yep. Bro. I commend you, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate for that. For not being afraid, bro. I commend yeah. you for not coming up with no you know like they say you know no 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 form or fashion yeah just you yeah uh, you know authentically you bro just setting the tone bro like uh and you you don't even know the people you're gonna inspire yeah inspire uh even through this interview and through your future works you know uh because they're watching yeah for sure like yeah it's all you know the likes don't match the views for sure you know like uh but that's this is gonna be this type of interaction for sure is what i play back to my boys yes sir you know what I'm saying yes, bro sir. that's what that's what this is about it's like you I'm you help I'm here bro. To see yeah it. bro you're helping I'm glad I'm, I'm I'm just glad I I woke up to it cause I was I was blind for a while a long time not even trying to be blind but you know sometimes you fall victim to your circumstances right, and right. some people can't make it out that's right and it's like some way somehow like I've always been able to make it out come back on top real yeah so that's right bro brother i appreciate you man oh way. you know as a tradition on the integrity response if you could reach it to that bowl yes sir or have one fortune cookie all right man. open it read it to your fans to your supporters just like that man we out got you yes sir let's see what you got here It is too late to start digging a well when you feel thirsty. <laughs> wow. <to> start <laughs> I love it, bro. Start now. I love it. Yes. I love it. Yes. I love it. Bro, that's that embodies Every, this everything you're saying, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yep. Yes, sir. Bro, can you one more time for your listeners, bro? Just it is too late to start digging a what digging a well when you feel thirsty. <laughs> what? It's gonna take forever to do that. Hey. Be proactive, not reactive. There you go. Put the best foot forward now. Yes, sir. Man, that is. Yes, sir. King got it, aka Euro got it. Yes. Man of integrity. 2024. Everything this man's done, everything this man's doing, everything this man is about to do. Y'all stay tuned. Yes, definitely. We're signing out. Appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. Yeah.